I get um, our panelist uh, Janice, who's the Martha Stewart of the Lunatic Fringe, uh, is going to present a couple of ideas she has for your uh, for making your home into a holiday showplace. <laughs> well. Uh, actually, be, uh, being a little inspired by the Holy Scriptures, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4, where it says, Beat your uh, swords into plowshares and your spears into pruning hooks. I got the idea of all these military toys and, and uh, viewers, homemakers, uh, gals out there. You can do this yourselves. I am putting out my own line here of Christmas tchotchkes. But it's something anyone can do in their very own home. All you need is like a heat gun. Okay, for, for uh, 15 bucks. And like here, started with this bomber, melted it down a little bit, and it makes a lovely little star on top of your tree. And uh, for other heat things, I mean, you can even make a wreath, cowboy and Indian wreath, uh, that you might just want to hang in any old place. Could be a crown of thorns. Yes, I, I was, or a necklace, <laughs> but yes, I thought that, the right. Christ-minded here. Right, right, really, a Christmas crown of thorns. Uh, helicopters lend themselves to the more traditional shape, globes. You want me to hold this up? Yeah, great. And so you, you can uh, really, if uh, the tree is too small like this one, get yourself a wreath. Uh, here's for the environmentalist. It's a, um, uh, a kind of just a generic earth mover kind of in fetal form. Uh, no <laughs> glitter, of course. And, you know, just stick it somewhere. Let's uh, kind of show you how they all look together. Then, um, I'll tell you, um, I got off on a new track after I started doing some meltdowns. Um, I thought, well, you know, we all have dead pets. What do you do with them? So here's a way to kind of memorialize. Just keep it going for a little longer. Christmas is a season for, uh, you, you know, uh, reminiscing. A, so a, To be jolly. Yeah, be jolly. A, a turtle <laughs> if you can't see it out there in TV land. Any dead pet, you know. I would recommend this, microwaving it first because, uh, it you know, it <laughs> la lasts a little longer yeah. into the new season. You can wrap anything, though. Here's another helicopter. You can keep it in its normal shape. And here's um, reminiscing times past. Uh, don't buy red coach lettuce. Get out of El Salvador. Nuke a whale for a gay whale for Christ. So all these past struggles. Something Eat the to rich. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> TV made me do it. Yeah. <laughs> They're lying. They're lying. Now that's one that's uh, really relevant today in all the polling. So last uh, but not least, let's see. I have a couple more. This is just a. Um, this is just like. You find these broken toys at the thrift store. Sometimes they're just good enough alone. And this is kind of with all of you feminists in mind, Aww. something you can like love and hate at the same time. Did the happy faces feeling. come with it? Say again? Did the happy faces come no, with I, it? No, I, 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 you, you can add a little bit of your own to perk it up for the holiday season, you know, is it a like. a construction worker? Is yes. that why you said that about the feminist? Yeah, so well, he'd be it's prone just a to tough, whistle at women or. Yeah, t yeah, tough guy. <laughs> but hey, he's turned on, look at the eyes. You know, you can bring it into your own sensibility and glitter does wonders for everything, I gotta say. So, and oh, and last but not least, um, you might not want to read, you might not want to live near a, a bush in front of your house or anything, so just some little side thing. Uh, sleighs, they can carry anything. Why don't you put a few weapons inside of them? Have them Little missiles. Yeah, missiles. Zoom them to Santa. So anyway, some <laughs> ideas for the holiday season. And like I say, all of these are things that you yourself out there can do. Uh, or I could, put in actually. an order. For <laughs> Send me fantastic. your pets and I'll uh, do a wrap for you. <laughs> but anyway. uh, microwave them first. That will, that will make the season brighter for many people. I yeah, think. yeah, really, I think. <laughs> it's already a loomed mine. Just <laughs> into Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Well, I've had a few thoughts about Valentine's, and you know I've been bringing in my little tchotchkes uh, every time lately. Um, so I thought I'd give you all in the uh, viewing audience uh, some ideas for um, the Valentine's you might be making this week. And also, it's, it made me start just thinking about love together and uh, I, I, I started thinking about how or I heard this somewhere maybe on the radio and then I just found Martin Luther King's book about love and it's this idea of uh, to, to have the highest love you have to uh, really love justice so here's my first Valentine this is a Valentine to justice I thought I love justice I, I try to this is my Valentine Can't almost a for... crucifixion see very well though it's a little it's I know a you got doll. these are small Taped I mean there's not on. too much hidden in them there but Show you the kind of see what you get but <laughs> look around the house folks for your broken <laughs> toys and your old wood and your your tape and you can put together some stuff here's my Valentine to America 
which um, it's the good times, it's the bush time. Oh, it's power, it's authority, and it's uh, lots of uh, glittery stuff. We're all gonna Badges do well. Badges and watches. Time pieces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the whole world. The whole world really needs uh, something. Um, and, and really, I was overwhelmed by the needs of the world. So this is what the world gets for my Valentine. It's um, uh, food, <laughs> right? But anyway, this is a Valentine for the world. Wonder bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely Wonder Bread. And but my dogs, they were eyeing me today as I made this. They they you know, they thought it looked pretty good. Really, I had to hide it. Crucified Wonder Bread. Right, the nail in the middle. It's very crucified. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, this I thought of more as the Crown of Thorns, uh, Valentine Crown of Thorns. But anyway, the last one. Uh, the idea you should love thine enemies is in Matthew, and so I thought, okay, I'm going to give a Valentine to my enemies. So. Here it is, folks. I, I have to kind of show it to you, but if you have somebody, uh, it's really to all the oppressors in the world. So take a mirror. You, know, you can do, everybody's got one of these, all these ingredients I'm sure you can find in your house. So here's what you can do if you want to give uh, all the oppressors uh, uh, you, uh, a Valentine. First, take a little whipped cream, make a little heart, <laughs> okay? And then, <laughs> oh, I thought it would break. Anyway, th that's, th that's the Valentine for oppression, and uh, there you have it. Little thoughts on uh, love coming up soon. Happy Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, happy Day. Valentine's Day, folks. Mm. Coming up in two yeah. weeks. I hope there's no glass in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a thought. What a thought. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Here, I wrecked my little good one. But anyway. Okay, well, you, we can clean that you up. You're going to close it down later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it That's the thing, too. When you use toys to make these Valentines, you guys, it's plastic. Clean it right off. Use it again next year. Hold it down in the backyard. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, okay. Speaking of tube oh, strikes, I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> let's go on to uh, your um, new invention. Well, I have come up with a new product. Um, the generic chemical name is um, uh, what is it? Oxymethylbucolic in utero. Uh, really, we're marketing especially to teenage boys. And really, I thought of this, starting to think, oh, we're getting this problem now, abortion. We're going to lose our abortion rights. And also, we're going to, um, I mean, we got more of these killings from the, the high school kids. So here is a product that solves those. Them together. Ties it all together, I swear. Well, this product, <laughs> and here it is. Attention deficit disorder is also mixed in there. <laughs> Again? Attention deficit disorder. Yes, everything. I mean, let me, yeah, really, the first thing it cures is a learning unattention in school because you're just not going to be interested in sex anymore after you eat this product. And then there won't be any unwanted pregnancies. You won't have any need for abortion. And no Nobody's going to get rejected by, no boy is going to get rejected by any girl, so uh, they're not going to be frustrated and mad and want to kill people. So <laughs> here is the product. It's called No Boners, okay? And uh, you can see before what, I uh, should have probably left it where it was, but anyway, you can see. sad boner over there. Yes, yeah, sad. This one is sad, <laughs> this erect one. And then here it is happy again. And really, with this product, you are always in that state. Uh, <laughs> notice here, wasted, wasted semen. Why waste your fluids? Essential here, bodily fluids. Being here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy is in the chair because he, he's now on this drug and he doesn't want to leave school. He has to be taken out because I'm <laughs> in the chair because he's so happy. Now, I want everyone, especially Alicia, of course, because it does affect guys more than girls. But I'd like you all here today to sample my product. You'll see how tasty. <laughs> and uh, mm. we're, we're marking them in little eggs because uh, we want uh, them to be colorful and appealing. So, you know, but a lot, you really do need a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> and what Some does it, just, what does it do to others. women? Well, um, not, not. <laughs> uh, may I? Yeah, please, please, please. please. Well, uh, we don't know yet really what it does to women. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> There are some side effects. Let's mm. see, Levin and I were listing them in That's the car good, no on the boner. way over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now here is our weekly. We're packaging it in the little eggs. Mm. This is a week's supply. <laughs> or you can get the uh, the economy pack for three weeks. And each one has got a, enough dose for the day, it, or maybe an hour or two anyway. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's quite and, delicious. Yeah, and here's, you know, usually I just want to show you the whole point here. This is the teenager. This is the teenager on no boner. <laughs> this is what we want, right? So and, and, Yes, and in the end, you know, everybody will have that little smile on their 
face or hands as <laughs> well. What do you think, guys? How about Alicia? Come on, eat up. I love it. I think you didn't get enough here. Wait a minute. Really, I think you need it a little more. Is this on the Nasdaq? Um, well, we're just putting, we're just getting it up mm -hmm. this week. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll have to let you know. But uh, ask your doctor. It's oxymethyl bucolic in utero. And uh, that's the name of the product in, uh, for, the, for the doctor. Wouldn't know it under no boners yet. You know, we're just <laughs> trying to get the... Uh, we're trying to direct this toward the schools. And it's hard to resist if you're you know, a free little egg with something hidden inside. So we hope this will really go over. But anyway, new product hits the market. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This, this is all for your education out there in TV land. And, and tell us, really, you guys are hearing it earlier than anyone else, so you can see how it pays to be a cable f subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I sense an economic recovery for the country. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, uh, the anniversary, uh, and I don't know if you all know, but you probably do, let's see, August 6th and August 8th were the... Ninth. Ninth August, were the anniversaries of when we dropped uh, atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, respectively. Uh, and, um, and just to take advantage of the massive publicity and festivities involved in that, um, Janice Udell, CEO of Hir Happy Hiroshima Toy Time, Inc., has decided uh, to come out with a new product line. Yeah. Would every you share month, that product? Huh? Would you share yeah, that? Yeah, I'd like to show you the toys I brought for the month. Every month I've kind of become a CEO of a new company. Every month is just really such a roller coaster thrill in my life here. And so this month, uh, it's really a lot of toys sent around Hiroshima. Of course, it's the A-bomb that we dropped. And uh, there's four toys here, especially want to uh, mention to you all out there in the viewing audience that you might be interested in getting for your own family. One is just the Glow Pets. We will send you these in the mail. They're specially radiated, and uh, they're just like a little do-it-yourself nightlight. When your power's out, you're still going to have a nightlight. Yeah. Um, they're little can't... snakes that glow in the dark. Or, you know, well, we, these are snakes. Oh, you them. can't tell they're little snakes. Oh, yeah, oh, you, you can, can see them. Look at that. We also will sell, we have a line of insects as well, so you can have the choice of the two when you send the coupon in. Now we also have a little cancer kit. This is for um, anybody you know, a, a child or an adult really, who has cancer. It's those little origami cranes which uh, the girl from Hiroshima kept folding and folding until she finally died. I don't know if you all know the story of the thousand cranes. She didn't quite get to a thousand before she died, I think, of leukemia well, from the I, uh, radiation. I do think the girl from Hiroshima is one of all of our favorite songs. <laughs> songs right. I, think. I like that boss <laughs> never <Yeah>. beats. <laughs> so anyway, there's a, it's a little package of cranes and there's instructions to make more. And when you um, uh, when you order this product, you need to say what kind of cancer the person has. Then we'll, if it's something that takes a while, we'll give you more cranes. We'll give you more paper. <laughs> Depending to on the lethality of the cancer, exactly. you get more or fewer cranes. Exactly. Now, the click stick, here's one example, and I brought in uh, another model um, of this to show you. It's just a fun little stick that you, um, you know, can uh, put around the house and it moves around like this. And uh, let's see, let me get it going here. And every time it comes across some radiation, it's a little, really portable Geiger counter, what? but in a fun, <laughs> yeah, fun kind of a way here. My crotch was near. I guess uh, here, I, if you want to do my crotch too, I don't know what the crotch area has to do with this. <laughs> it's wherever there's some radiation. I mean, um, oh my God. I'm also oh my offended God. by the idea of a fun little stick, and then you put it. <laughs> oh my God. But you well, have to turn it on, and then it sparkles. I shouldn't take that personally. Is that. Oh. No, this just lets you All know right. where there's some radiation okay. in your environment, All and uh, you. So you can appreciate to, it. Yeah. Yes. It's something to just be aware of, to enjoy, to play with, <laughs> to right. you know, do things with. One last product we have in this line here is a shadow stencil. Now you know when uh, the A bomb was dropped in Hiroshima all the uh, people, some people vaporized so quickly that their body was not left at all, only the shadow. So this is your own personalized one. You need to send us a photo and we will send you back a, a, an example, I mean we will send you back a personalized stencil of what you would look like at the moment that you are vaporized. And it's your own personal one and you can use it as um, like leaving your Almost like your own uh, trademark, <laughs> you know, when you um, write your mark, the mark on the world. Your mark on the world. It's a it's shadow. It's like a graffiti statement almost. Yeah, it's it's almost toward graffiti. I, I we thought about making it into a graffiti, portable graffiti mm -hmm. product, and then we just sort of thought, well, let's keep to the theme of Hiroshima this month, since it's only one month that you get to celebrate the uh, A bomb. And we look forward point. to it all year long. Yes, I know. it's a big holiday. Yeah. You know? <laughs> So, yeah, you know, relatives fly in from out of town. And my, my birthday is actually right right at, on August 8th. So it's like, I, I feel like, you know, it's just before, just after. Now, let the me ask you, uh, it was probably after the year, though. Not right, that I yeah, want to pry into your age. It was after. Wasn't, the, yes. Yeah, it wasn't the year that the bomb was dropped. What year was that? The, that the bomb was dropped? Yeah, what, what are we celebrating? What anniversary? This? Um, what year did we drop the um, A bomb? Um, Late well, 40s, it was something. to end the war. It must the have been middle, 1945, right? Something like that. 
minutes, right? I think so, huh? You can call in if you have a better answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. When did World War II end? The date. Huh? Oh, I don't, see, we're getting so far away from our <laughs> own history that we don't know. <laughs> Remember the, the way they asked people questions? Did you, uh, anyway. Except the radiation, what I was all just going to mention was the radiation is, is still among us. Whoopsie, well, I thought it was here. <laughs> there. Oh, there you know, we go. Even though it did happen 45, 50 years ago, 60 years ago yeah. now. Yeah, right. My you know, crotch is really, still irradiated. Yeah, yes. it's still with us here. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen to this. <laughs> oh, there's a lot there. Okay. Well, I could warm up my coffee on the side of his head, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's the implant from the aliens. Yeah. Uh, Well, you know, thinking about the new year and uh, and the events of 9/11, I want I started thinking how we really um, are in a new age now. These are our old fears, right? Remember the good old days of the A bomb, good old days of T Rex. <laughs> That's when we really knew what we were afraid of. And that was kind of big things, right? Nowadays, right, all right, got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, so, so th that's what we used to be afraid of, but nowadays, uh, we know, of course, uh, with the airplane uh, hitting the towers, boom, okay? Uh, we know airplanes are just not, uh, not going to be there for us, uh, safety-wise. And, of course, anything on four wheels, boom. Oh, and here you can crash right into one of those trucks. And the bus, you don't want to take a bus. Somebody runs your bus into the ditch. And uh, a train, easy to put a bomb on the tracks, boom, right? Ships, of course, we know the rockets. Boom, half of them, right? That's already been said. Already and been. helicopters, boom, we've known that. Ships, we used to think, okay. Of course, we always, they could sink, but boom for them, boom for them. This is the new world we live in. So thinking <laughs> on these lines, um, I developed some new security devices for us on a personal level because really it's hopeless now except take care of your own self a little bit. But, you know, everywhere you go, boom. So here's a few personal uh, suggestions for you, and you can do this on your own, or maybe uh, right away, and I'll have a few of these on the um, um, uh, on my little um, what do you call it, where you work real hard to make things. My factory uh, line. So <laughs> here's the first way to keep people away: just walking down the street, just carry some old fish over your shoulder. It, it might just uh, do it, though it's a little subtle. Uh, and then if they do get too close, you should have this. It works also as a glove to keep your hand warm. Boom! Just give them a good old punch right wherever you can reach. Uh, yeah, can you see that? Okay, oh my God, it's hurrying. Anyway, if they're really um, getting close to you, just put up a face. Here's your face. Put it into high gear. <laughs> if uh, they get really close, put up a face that nobody except another crazy person would want to get near. And really, my main product that I wanted to uh, talk to you about was uh, these rattle rubber snakes, rubber rattlesnakes. Um, I've had them for a number of months in my trunk, in my back of my car. They've been very effective keeping people out. If you can't go to the zoo lately, even just try an old phone cord. I'm sure it'll scare somebody away. <laughs> it looks away. like a snake. Yeah, and of course, sometimes flies work. Any old snake will work. But you know, rattlesnakes are particularly good because of living here where we do in the Southwest. So that's kind of my, uh, my little new security <laughs> products that I have to offer you this month. So. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm not really into predictions much. I always would get it wrong, but I do have a hope for the future, and that is uh, part of the hope is peace, okay? I mean, the other part would be justice. Uh, that's a really another can of beans. I mean, actually, that, that hope is for um, a world... Um, um, crimes tribunal like in South Africa where we'd be on trial too and to me that's really the solution um, to this uh, big problem we've got now but um, in terms of uh, just unity I've uh, concocted um, a unity blend I call it which is bringing all the religions together it's sort of a, a plea for tolerance and it's a drink too and it, it tastes pretty good <laughs> so I thought you know for the new year to make your new year sweet uh, I would like to just mix up a little of it right here and hey we all gonna have some I, I've, it's been tested already in my kitchens with professional tasters so I know it's really okay right so we'll start out first I don't know actually the order I should put in the Hindu stuff first um, coconut milk for uh, Hinduism um, blue because of Krishna and uh, blue is like the main color somehow I'm not sure but anyway uh, that would be the Hindu as well I guess the liquid really needs oh my god <laughs> needs to go in first oh my god no. and then hey Buddhism here's a little tofu I've 
And you know, all of these things, if you want to make this at home, and really all the ingredients are very easy, folks. Uh, I'll use a little food coloring to bring in the other dimension of these religions, Buddhism, saffron for the Buddhist priest. So here you go with the tofu, mix it in right in there. And then um, the green. Muslims, green and, and mint uh, seems to really be perfect uh, because um, it's, it's in some Muslim dishes. I'm not sure which, but it, it, that's what I saw, you know. <laughs> or tea. So uh, let's Lots see, where's the top here, huh? Tea. What about, what about? Oh, tea. You mean, uh, the, the, uh, all right, yeah. so, mint tea. Oh, oh, mint tea. Oh, perfect, yes, mint oh. tea. So there's your mint. And then here, um, you know, for Christianity, uh, apples, red, original sin. So we throw a little bit of apple in there, too, for the Christians. And then, of course, matzah for the Jews. I mean, what else is there? And, and what's, you can, what's on it? Well, you can decorate these oh, at home, you know, with the food coloring and just dip your little brush in and, and put David. some stars That's on so it so that nobody will have any problem knowing, <laughs> you know, what's what. Now, let's just hope this works. Oh, my God, it doesn't work. Okay, a little stirring. Stir. Yeah, stir. I'll have to stir it a little bit here. Ah. Okay, here I know we're on a little bit of a time thing. Oh, my God, that not the water in. You know, well, okay. Half done, okay. Yeah, you know, that matzah gave me a little hard time, but in the end, it all blends together. Wow. Voila, unity blend. Now, uh, you'll see when you taste it, it's nutritious. It doesn't offend anybody. Because no, no uh, dairy, no, veg no, uh, no vegetable, what am I saying? No, no animal, no pork. <laughs> here you go. I'd like you all to have a little for the new year. Here you go. Thank you. And I, it won't, don't worry about it in your face. <laughs> 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 Here you go. You gotta try it. Really, you guys gotta Thank try. It. I'm sorry, Anna. This that's is just a little matzo. <laughs> yeah, that's just a little extra matzo if you uh, think it's too thin. Keep blending. Hey, you happy, know. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Yeah. To and unity. Jesus. To unity. And peace. You know. Yeah. Let's have a little tolerance. <laughs> We can all learn to work together. You and can the, have your God, I can have my no God, and it'll work. Yes, yes. The protection, to the protection of innocent civilians everywhere. Yes. All right. <laughs> Not mm. bad, huh? Mm. Anyway. <laughs> so okay. there you go. No. And remember again the ingredients. Let me just quickly review so you'll know in case you hadn't had a pencil handy before. <laughs> apples, Christian, <laughs> Christian apples, Jewish matzah, some Muslim mint, some Buddhist tofu and some Hindu blue coconut milk. It has a kick. Giving it some thought for this month, Valentine's Day. So yeah, if you want, you want me to just show you right now all my Valentines and. Um, okay. Uh, 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 so you're you starting a new right company. Right where, yes. Where new company. Love again. is the word. That's right. Love is the bottom line. You might say, love war. Okay. Lovewar.com. And I've developed some products uh, in this regard to just show how much Americans really love war. That, to me, is st so striking in the past few months. So here's some Devastation Hearts. And you open it up, and there's some devastation. These uh, mutated uh, Iraqi children from our uranium bullets that they're all getting all screwed up. The bullets, the 315 tons of um, bullets, uh, bullets are still in Iraq. And then... Uh, I just did a few other variations on that. You might want to catch this uh, a close-up, some more Valentines, which devastating hearts. Just a little bit of a less, again, a baby, dead babies, dead babies, our fault. That's why, you know, people wonder why are, why are they mad at us. Here's another one, mutated baby, not dead yet. That's a little too big, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what uranium does? Yes, it does all kind of things apparently, all kind of things. And here's one, another big head. This is just to show you a easy Valentine. If you know, at home you're not really, uh, this is like you know, real arts yourself, and crafts. Yeah, this is the easiest kind. Just draw a little old heart around your picture. So how and, many uh, dead babies are there, or, or mutated babies are there in Iraq from the? Uh, yeah, I don't know actually, but uh, it like took me three search engines to find these million. photos, huh? Yeah. Something like half a million, I heard. Oh, from yeah, they don't publicize that in the American press too much. No, strangely, I, it, not on uh, Google, not on Dogpile.com. You know, so finally uh, they had these uh, from uh, Al Jazeera. Not on CBS. Yeah, <laughs> not on CBS. yeah. strange. <laughs> CNN. Yeah, right. <laughs> you, you got it on Lycos. Yes, that was the search engine. It popped right up. I mean, I was typing in Afghanistan bombs or whatever, and then finally just bombs. And then I finally got that right up, came right up. But anyway, here's a few more little products for Valentine's Day. 
kiss the gun. That's American way. <laughs> Whether it's this guy's gun or just the regular old gun, but um, because we do love guns, we do. And then terror kisses, just little packets of candies you can give to your friends and and really, folks, though, you know what's in the you know what's in the candy. That's the thing. That's the key. Hate that white powder. Very deep, yeah. And then, uh, of course, you know it is domestic anthrax, right? That's domestic anthrax. That was uh, trick shades. Now the trick is really just that when you have them on, you can't see anybody. You can just see the money, because that's what's a trick. You, people think you're looking at them, but you see, you're not. You can't see anything. <laughs> just the money. So they're, there's how they're a trick. They trick you. So anyway, those are just a few of my products. And of course, no one yet, you guys out in the audience, have ordered any of my products. But yeah. well, that's why I went on uh, the web now. I've got my you own. You've got a lot of money tucked in that uh, oh, yeah. down there. What's that? This is one, yeah, real, one real one I put in just to, to make send, it all look real. To send money to order these things? <laughs> yeah, you could uh, send money. I'll send you um, some of these uh, terror kisses. Be glad to send you some in an envelope. You know, it, it's illegal to ask for money over the airwaves. No, but I'm giving you something back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trade. I, we're, we're, it's a trade. But, okay. but no, this is this is about all the money that comes from making war, right? Yes, that's really what I mean, it's some about. people yes. will make a lot of money. We won't, but somebody will. And, yes, yes, a lot of money, right? And yeah. this is why people love war. This is the, the reason. Right? So why do we love it? Because <laughs> we're not going to make any money. No, I know. I don't get it. Why do all these Americans think the war is going well? What is this, right? It's because they don't get to see. Right. A little break, and Janice will present a new product. And then that, might, I think, kind of feeds into what we're talking about. All right. Well, it is who's evil. I mean, that's the whole... A situation now, right? And I mean, even in terms of the left, it's like they're going to be branded evil, associating with terrorists or whatever. But anyway, I, I um, put out a new product this month, and it's um, all about evil, Mr. Evil Potato Head. You and um, yeah, I guess that'd be all right. Yeah, I made a little chart here. This is really going to be a, a spin off product, my card game of all the evil people. But I blew up each of these guys into uh, bigger pieces, and then I chopped them up. So there's these little. Here's Idia means mouth. You can kind of match them up on these uh, cards here. You know, some of these people are just generally disagreeable. Maybe Imelda Marcos for one, right? <laughs> some are, are uh, not the worst. Um, who's not the worst? Uh, the Wicked Witch of the East. And somewhat evil, occasionally evil, just as evil. That's just about as bad as you can be, except, of course, best evil. Uh, who's getting their best evil? A lot of people think it's uh, Osama bin Laden, but Really, Cheney. I mean, I, he looks nice. You know, all these people. I tried to give them a favorable kind of pictures. But anyway, I thought you guys can take one of my squashes here. We can make a little evil one. I got my little pieces of evil and um, just stick them on. Oh, and even this fancy squash, but maybe just on this one. So here's, yeah, that's, yeah. Here's this. This is um, Thatcher's hair. Right. And Idiot means mouth. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Lots of eyes works, you know, whatever. The more eyes, the more evil, right? Uh, I'll she, say, I'll you know. These eyes. D does anyone have an eight by ten of Sharon? That's what I'm going to say. I'm sorry, I should have put him in there. <laughs> but my axis of evil is is the White House, Texas, and the Vatican. <laughs> yeah, that's good, <laughs> right? Well, Pinochet, he's in there. I don't have any noses though. I, it's meant to really question the evil, anyway, of all these people. And of course, we're really into it now, so we have to kind of distinguish levels of evil. I mean, to me, this is an important kind of activity that um, Do we have to I look at we ourselves? have to be concerned with. <laughs> well, hey, it goes all the way, doesn't it? That's we why have you to have to wear that outfit. Exactly. <laughs> 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 because we don't want to see what evil lies beneath it. I like yeah. the constructed evils, too, because, I mean, I still, I still wonder if uh, Osama bin Laden is perhaps computer generated. And then yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, uh, right. Definitely and working that looks for like the CIA. with green makeup. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Wizard Wicked. of Oz witch, oh, okay, right? right? So I forget her name. Looks She's passed, by, passed on now. Well, anyway, yeah, yeah. There's uh, And really, is the real more evil than the, the fake? That's something I kind of thought as I was doing this. Because the ones that look really evil are the fake ones. And the really evil ones, they don't look so bad, right? <laughs> so it makes me all mixed up. I really get confused sometimes. But um, we got to keep, you know, we got to keep... Uh, Straight on it. Here, I'll put it back. 
So anyway, I don't know, did this turn out kind of evil? Well, whatever. Here, here it is. I, I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. The camera can <laughs> get a load there. Uh, and, and really, of course, spin off from all the potato heads. I just got to mention, this was so cool the batteries died, though. But since you're talking about pornography, this is a Mr. Potato Head massager. It, just, uh, <laughs> it is missing the on-off switch. Turn but, it around. Uh, the yeah, it's uh, really, and it, it, uh, I just happened to find it one day in the uh, throwaway bin in Pick and Save. 50 cent bin, yeah. but it, uh, it, it would have been nice to uh, put it on, but anyway. You know, we were all worried about what's happening in the Middle East, but I think Janice would come up with something, so as our, as our Middle East expert. Yeah, really, I think uh, this is um, um, a real solution. I mean, it looks maybe silly on the face of it, but think about it, folks, for a while. Roll it around in your head at night. Uh, for the Mideast, a real solution here. I'm um, offering the idea of landfill. I mean, look how big the Mediterranean is. Take a look here on the map. <laughs> look how tiny Israel is right down there on the map. So. Just all this extra land, the Saudi and Arabian deserts, the garbage fills from America, whatever, you know, and just dump it all in wherever you want. You could put it right next to the old Israel, make another little Israel, two Israels so everybody can have one. <laughs> and, you know, it seems to me this really is a true solution because it won't hurt this ocean much. Just dump another little Israel in there. Look at it. It's still going to be just as big as it always was. So that's the main idea. Now here's a smaller idea just for daily kind of uh, living is pipe, bo pipe bombs on Prozac. When they explode, it's okay. It's really, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay when they explode because everybody's going to get, oh my God. Oh, this one, I forgot. How did this one happen? You can't promote oh my God, God, here goes. Ah! <laughs> anyway, when it explodes, <laughs> we just get happy. Nobody's going to suffer. End of suffering in, in such, in, anyway. <laughs> there you go. There's my offering to you. <laughs> oh, the landfill thing. So, you know, uh, in San Francisco, they do have a big development on, on landfill, the marina. Yeah, if San Francisco so they just can do it. Why not? Dump it in the bay. Build some. Now, what would the advantage be? Just because there'd be more land? Leave it yeah. Now, no. you're going to maybe, if you put the uh, the new Israel right next to the old one, you're going to still have to duke it out over coastline, right? Oh, that's or right. maybe cut it half and half, whatever now, way. Now, could the old Israel become p the new Palestine? Uh, sure. Hey, any way you want to <laughs> slice it. All right. Oh. All right. But I would say maybe put the new one... Further, I know everyone wants the old one. Isn't that going to be the right. way it is? I want the old one. Right. Classic new Israel one. versus <laughs> new Israel. <laughs> More sugar. Yes. Yeah, right. More sugar, right. It just can't go wrong. And you can even put the new one and float it around. Maybe you can visit That's other That's interesting. Countries. A floating Israel. Mm. Yeah. So I, could, I, I hope something you happens. You could recore anywhere in the world. <laughs> I'll probably plant one next to Cuba. Yeah, kind of like cloning. Right. Uh, let's, uh, talk my, about your uh, new product. New product. New company, folks. New month, new company, new product. <laughs> LooseLipsSyncShips.gov, okay? <laughs> and really, we are entering a new era of censorship. Let's get used to it and really just button down, zip it up, <laughs> zip it up. Because, God, you know, what are we going to do? Um, so, here's a few products. Um, muffle and Shuffle, and really, here's Eat Your Words, um, but that's really a sort of a, a, a spin-off <laughs> from these really very um, useful masks that you can wear. Now, even if you really have the urge to talk, you put one of these on and you'll see it really muffles it. Mm -hmm. So even if you are talking, you still mm -hmm. probably can't understand you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, these are Muffle and Shuffle. And uh, that's one thing that I'd like to make available to the whole, whole American community. Portable book burner. It's really very simple. You could even make your own. You just twist your book in and out, and it'll fit all kinds of sizes, and then twist it back up again. Now, I used, um, actually, I found Hanukkah candles worked well. I set up about eight of them underneath the book and let it kind of roast for a while. Whoa. Let them roast for a while, and that way really started to get tight in the uh, book. So uh, uh, well, wait, the fire, really, I, I actually, I didn't, I, bur I burned a good one, Ursula Le Guin, uh, uh -huh. the world is forest, <laughs> we don't need that kind of thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We're not going to have any more fours. Yeah, it really is science fiction, God. <laughs> and, and of course, really, what's the other side? I mean, if we're going to have censorship, what's the payoff, right? The payoff is... We're going to be really getting into food. Look at this burger get big. Anyway, there it is, big burger. <laughs> now, you can get into sex more. We're going to have more sex, but it's going to be kind of uh, uh, not totally all-out sex. Notice I picked this mermaid. I was going to put a Barbie doll up on my uh, little um, board here, but I realized, well, this mermaid really doesn't have any genitals. That's more, I think, in line with the new tone. You need some sex. You need to keep that red stuff and that juicy stuff. Okay, and then, of course, uh, jewelry, anything about, you know, look good. Now's the time to look good. She's Stop had her lips done. Yeah, she, she got some, uh, what do you call that stuff, that top? Yeah, what is it? Collagen lips. Collagen. Yeah, yeah, collagen. So, and, of course, notice the Nazi guy. See, he's really holding up this sex and love because that's really what there is to talk about which we've had enough a big dose of anyway through the years but that's what you talk about when you're not allowed to talk about what's happening in the world oh that's right no news yeah right Just it's sex and 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 yeah. food food mm -hmm. so food. anyway and really i would uh, all of you consider at home that uh, you might want one of these muffle up muffle up mm. and uh, mm. then you don't even have to worry about what you think it won't affect your mind this is just <laughs> an external kind of uh a solution. <laughs> so you can still think any thoughts you want. No one will hear them. No one will hear them, so it won't matter. It won't matter what you think. Dog, too, of course, you could. I should have put on the, my Betty thing. So anyway. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess that kind of goes along with taking Bill Maher off the air. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> yeah, really. And it's so subtle. That's why people think we're really so free. I mean, we're free to... I'm not subtle, but... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How can I be so wrong when I'm so right? <laughs> what is it about flags and snakes that don't go together? Oh. I don't yeah. know. I think it's a marriage made Messy. in heaven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. I tell you, when I thought of this idea, I thought this is it for, this for is really July. Pretty. This oh, is God. great, yeah. Just have one of these hanging out in front of, or yeah, dangling from your car window. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing in the breeze. Yeah. Right? These colors don't run. They <laughs> smither. <Yeah, right. laughs> I don't know. That's I very mean, fun. Somehow. I, I think that is a money maker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I haven't really incorporated yet, so. But yeah, you guys who are uh, forward thinking out there can get the get a head, get a yeah. jump on the market. Don't tread on oh. me. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh yeah, is. you know, actually that was a point I did want to make on how yeah. schizo oh, Americans yeah. are because see, yeah. don't tread on me. Okay, we all got our space, right? That's uh -huh. really the American way. But you know, really we are this federation, right? All the little pieces and they're all little dead alone, right? You, you have to said, join together. So to me this you is said the join or die. Was that a or is that George Washington? That was a, 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 one of the early um, um, 13 uh, oh, right. states each, uh, flag. Each the yeah, colonies. each of the colonies or each of the early whatever we call them. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, to me, these are like opposite sides. They're pulling apart in a flag. And really, in a way, I've kind of brought them back together again, I feel. Yours first. Okay, well. I've been in the cloning business now for quite a while, and we're starting to have some success, finally. I mean, here's a, a just want to remind a little bit of our history. This was um, an old success, because we do value all of these old trials, and there's an old failure, and we have a, a warm place in our heart for all of them. Okay. This is a success. <laughs> I just want to describe what's in there. It's a Snakes? It's cloned snakes. I mean, they didn't live for long, but this was a success. <laughs> they lived for a few minutes. They're fluorescent uh, snakes. Well, no. It, one was green and one yellow. That was a, a slight variation there, uh -huh. but uh, no, it was a real success. Okay. Believe me. Take my word for <laughs> it. You know? They're lovely. And, uh -huh. the, uh -huh. and the, the teeth problems, I think, were problems. We worked on this so long, and, uh, and really... For for the new for the holiday coming up, we kind of put that one aside. That hasn't quite come together, but really we've done very well with noses and uh, eyes. Of course, you can see the eyes a little big as well as the ear. We've been uh, also experimenting with growth hormone because uh, this is LA, and the bigger the better. That's kind of uh, LA's thing here. Of course, this one I got to mention. This product line is um, mix and match. Whoops, I thought it'd be staying there, but. Oh, you just want a, an interesting kind of a clone. You don't maybe know how it's going to turn out. So uh, this is uh, what might turn out. Could be anything. We've gotten all kind of stuff on when people try the uh, mix and match um, product. Uh, just to mention also lips. I mean, you know, forget the teeth. But finally, we've gotten a lip product that works. They even talk. Now, these are good. Coming up, it's a perfect thing for Valentine's because you might want to... Something that you know you got something good up to be able to give your loved one another one of it. And they can keep it uh, with them without you being attached even, right? And, and speaking of bigger uh, and better, also L.A. I think is also known for the more the merrier. So <laughs> here's, <laughs> this is something beautiful. we've really gotten going for, especially like I said, Valentine's coming up and you want to keep this in mind for uh, uh, any loved ones you have. Uh, <laughs> How many ways can one person say, I love you? <laughs> and notice they're all slightly different. This is just one person's cock cloned four times. But you know how even women change so much from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. Well, we've really, this is a little accidental discovery that we've made here. But that, look, men too. Look so, how, so I could have four penises if I go through the process. Yes, you could. And you can uh, <laughs> and keep they could them be, all together. And even. they could be multicolored. You know, <laughs> That'd be very nice. Well, that's because of the monthly changes that you men go through all the month. <coughs> now, not only uh, more the merrier, but you can have all your friends forever, too, all in one. <laughs> all the partners you've had, I mean, you can uh, have, have, each one can contribute um, to the whole So that's actually something bouquet. a woman might like. This, who would like this? Uh, the, that's for a woman, not for a man. So. Um, well... You know, you might want so it. She can uh, well, oh, well, the yeah, it's her memories. Yeah, it's kind, <laughs> of a memory, it's kind of a memory bouquet. More useful than a real bouquet that fades so quickly. These really do stay alive. You have to buy our special bath. You know, here's a little model of our um, 
laboratory, you know, to just show you we really <laughs> have this thing running scientifically. Is Pop in the real one, and the DNA is read and scanned, and boom, 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 chuck, chuck, chuck. You know, in in short time, that's when the second one pops out. One last. Um, Do you have to penis remove clone. the first one in order to clone it? Uh, we read it. <laughs> okay. We read it, and um, I didn't bring in a model of the whole laboratory. I just wanted <laughs> okay. to give you an idea. It's a very high-tech situation that we're involved in here. This is the SUV model for, uh, oopsie, how did that work? Wow. Okay, <laughs> so, you know, it's was, not, you don't have to even be for real you, but this started as you. That's the beauty of the kind of cloning you, we're doing. Better. It's you, but better, right. And uh, let's see, did I forget one thing here? Just to say that this is part of our uh, first marketing strategy. We're sending out little bouquet holders so that you can use your imagination and think, what would really be great right in there for my loved one? What part of me would I like to have another one up? So anyway, that's it. Send in your orders like usual, folks. It's a great product, and I think you would, you would not... Um, be sa sorry uh, uh, for one minute about it. So um, please, um, get it while it's hot, so to speak. <laughs> right out favorite. of the oven. I just love this one. Yeah, it's so cool when we start growing our noses on our butts, you know, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. I can't wait till it really all happens. We're going to be in fun zone medicine, you know. I just want to know what happens when you cross a, a, a sheep with a rubber chicken. Well, comedy, that's what happens. <laughs> comedy. And, and the thing is, you can take what you get from that combination, Linda, and you can clone it onto something else. It's just endless the possibilities, you know what I'm saying? It's endless. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited. The future, what a, the, what a better living through chemistry or something. Oh, my that's God, cool. I would say so. <laughs> So, uh, okay, well, we have cloning to look forward to. Really, that's the future, guys, and it's not so boring. It's not, don't, don't worry how things are so boring now. It's going to get better. Yeah, I guess the problem is, will artists be in, in charge of cloning like <laughs> you? Or will John Ashcroft be in, oh, in charge of cloning? Oh, scary. So uh, none of us will have penises. Oh. I think we need two different, um, um, two different, um, power stations there. Or how, how about like, you know, how they were doing the DNA code? You know, they had one group, geno g genome group, and yeah. one private group. Uh -huh. Well, I think we can work those kinds of things out. Okay. Oh. Private group would give people what they really want, and uh -huh. the public group would just... Give people what they need. <laughs> what they're supposed to And then to we'd have. meet in the streets like the gangs of New York and have the Clone Wars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we're ready for uh, you to discuss your new business. Yeah. Okay, actually, it's more of um, con a consulting business than a product business because um, I really just made one thing, but this will predict your future. It's a little wheel of fortune. Medusa, uh, but it's also mandala, Medusa, Medusa mandala. So um, actually, I got a little inspired from the Buddhist exhibit at the uh, County Museum. So anyway, these are all some things you can, that can happen to you in life, and actually they're not exactly good and bad. Sort of what you make out of them, even though when I was doing this, my, my older kid told me, make sure you make it symmetrical. So like you can make money with the music, you can make money selling weapons, uh -huh. you know? And of course, there's a lot more money on this side here. <laughs> yeah. And then these, uh, Mickey, even though I know people love Mickey, but you open his suitcase, you know, there's a little bit of um, death there. And, of course, you yeah. got it on this side, too, so with uh, uh, happy our high-tech airplanes. Yeah. Yeah. Mechanical death. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if I meant this, but Barbie, opposite of Barbie's the hot dog. I don't know what that means, you know? I think, <laughs> that I think that's a yin and yang thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> and then there's, um, you can see the bottom stuff. And the mandala, I don't think quite is this way, because you enter mandala at the bottom, mm -hmm. which is the east, right? And mine is just more like the bad stuff's at the bottom. And a little better, maybe, you know, is at the top. The only good thing is this one, I couldn't think of the last one to, I had a few ideas, and in the end, I left it blank. And I, I only had one little bit of green. And so that's the green one. Like, that's your little bit. Of all the 12 possibilities, there's the one little piece of freedom, OK, mm -hmm. But um, that maybe you'd get to. So hey, you guys can spin it. Uh, see what you get. See what your um, new uh, road is. Except, say, you got to spin it really hard here. Linda's you want to spin it, Linda? Would you like to spin <laughs> my wheel of fortune? <laughs> All right. Really hard without without ripping it off. That some. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh boy! Cool. Dead, dead soldier. Oh, <laughs> dead soldier. Oh, wow! wow. I guess He's just what, upside down. I know soldier. what I want.
not because I've got it. <laughs> See, I'll tell you if you know if you keep whoa, if you keep spinning it. I, whoa, that one ended up. Usually, when it's this way, I was testing it to see for its reliability oh, as a real predictor, right. you know. Uh -huh. And it really ended up on poop like about nine times out of ten. <laughs> if you notice the poop down right. there. Uh -huh. So I don't know. It's doing better here. Well, see? The show, well, yeah. Yeah. Winding up on the hot dog. Yeah. Nine times out of see, and then oh. you get some little all the well. Time in the world. Little bit of well, hey, maybe, okay. yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you know, I, I wanted you to be able to interpret these a little mm -hmm. bit, but um, I just thought it was like because it was under Mickey, it was kind of like the little bit of money that we are offered and um, hung over our head like the mm -hmm. carrots. Or I don't know if these are. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but anyway. Um, so, so this is a service you're offering where. Or, or yes, yes, people exactly. come, put a quarter in, and yeah, decide put what a <laughs> right, right. And then well, I will, I you can do your own, or I'll do it for you. I have to know, what poop do you get with the Velvet Madonna there? Well, you know, she's generally, I guess it's up high, which means you don't get there too often, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then I, you know, the, the aliens are starting to move in. Yes, they are. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> I guess that's kind of my feeling. It's a little strange, something. And also, there is some theory about who impregnated her. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you, is that, have you heard about that? Well, not the one I think you're... <laughs> I miss that X-Files. <laughs> 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 Are you talking about the, the old Madonna or the new Madonna? <laughs> the, old Madonna. <laughs> the old Madonna. Right, right. Well, and and uh, so I don't know. And 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 like I said, life is what you make out of it. So right. it's not like this is bad. She's really turning into a Medusa. I mean, that's good in and that's my book. That's good for Barbie. Yes. Yeah, I think it's a good <laughs> position a for women. For her. Notice the bottom is uh, different uh, ideas of Medusa because mm -hmm. really this is Medusa's spinorama, and. Um, I think some of you out there in audience land can relate to that. Others of you I know will think gross. But really, this is energy, good energy, good power. Mm -hmm. Anger, you, you're angry about life? Well, we're all a little pissed, right? Mm -hmm. So, hey, make something out of your anger. <laughs> Spin around and get to move, move in with your life to a new plane. You can send me your quarter. I'll spin the ram <laughs> for you and I'll, I'll call you up and let you know. I'll use your quarter for the payphone. I'll let you know what the spinner landed on. I'm sorry to say, you know, if it's if I if you want me to spin vertical wise, it's probably gonna end up on the poop. Well, well, no. You know, I, think, I think we're wrong about that. Yeah, I mean, maybe life has more to offer. You know, maybe <laughs> it just really. The poop. I'd like to think it, it was just all feels poop. like it's mostly poop. Yeah, I think. Well, Yeah. Can I show you my season? Oh yes, greetings? I'm sorry. Yes, it's I mean yeah. my stocking stocking I, stuffers. Okay, it is it is stocking the holiday stuffer. Here, you got to hold it up so, for me. So Janice has a new uh, it's a got new very product heavy. for us. This is Pandora stockings because I wanted to give you another angle this uh, year on uh, giving and holiday cheer. And now you know I looked up Pandora on the web, a lot of sex shops, but this is stocking. Stuffing a normal kind of stocking, <laughs> really. It's not anything not like that. Stuffing in fact, I have a child. <laughs> I want to give you all out there in the listening audience some ideas for your own stocking stuffings at home. Things, some, a lot of it you can just make yourself out of, you know, recycle your dolls. That's what I'm going to show you a little of. Here's the children's stocking. Here's the adults. So let me just get started on the children's. Some fake candy. That's mm -hmm. sure to disappoint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Pandora's stocking now, and you know the myth of Pandora. She opened the box. Here's a little box. I know you probably can't see my own little, whoa, of course, snakes in mine. <laughs> right. But here you go in the children's Pandora stocking, my first cigarettes. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. It's so exciting, you know, with these things. You never know what you're going to get. This is a uh, body bag for your doll. So you can have a doll already. And then nowadays, yeah, it's something else to do with your doll. <laughs> Stuff right. it in the body bag. and. All I know uh, is they're black. Usually they come with a zipper, but this right. is if you make it at home yourself, just a normal garbage bag will do. Spray paint if they're not already black. You should really buy the ones that are already black if black. you uh, you really want to be good about it. Now here is, whoopsie, this is just a little happy kid in bondage. I don't know. <laughs> Where's the main they're one really. here? This is, first it was going to be just plain old grave digger Barbie. But then I realized the Barbie doll that I was going to use, she was missing her arm, and so she was sort of started out as amputee Barbie to begin with. So it's kind of combination amputee and grave it's digger Barbie. Bionic, kind of bionic cool. grave digger Barbie. Yeah, there so, you, you know, this shovel is <laughs> never going to leave her. It's part of her now, and uh, it ties in with the body bags. Uh -huh. Can I take her home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, 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 very yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see. 
Um, just some extra dowel parts. Can you can, you know, fix them up. <laughs> That's have them be cool. Kind of cute. <laughs> Let's see. Now, I didn't have any room to put Hope in the adult stocking. You know, Pandora shuts the box and Hope just doesn't right. escape, right? right? And that's kind of the sad thing about that whole myth. So I, I threw in, I don't know, a, a bird chained up, but you can kind of uh, get it out. Okay. These are a few little hope. things about hope. I don't yeah. know if they're really very hopeful. But there's, um, a, there's a great Bob Dylan line, even the bird is chained to the chained to the limits of the sky. Oh, uh -huh. I couldn't attach him. I should have used some uh, glue gun, my glue gun, but uh, you know, peace. Peace is always good. Whoa, it's always yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Here, uh, you know, <laughs> fight back. Whoa. Uh, fight back. <laughs> now, I want to mention, though, um, if you have a real little kid, you keep it simple, right? And the main thing I would say is, and you can sometimes just buy this straight off the shelf in your drugstore, soldiers and Soldier candy. Soldier lollipop. And uh, it's wow. just one little thing. We'll do it for a little baby. They don't know much better than yeah. that. And you Sugar can, and war. Yeah. You know, you can <laughs> extend it you know, for a little holiday treat basket <coughs> uh, at your front door. One soldier, one piece of candy. Cool. So we got a few of those. You guys can all have some candy. Yeah, nice. Cool. Candy. So that gets um, them thinking the about being soldiers. Stocking, now let me tell you what else. Here's some high blood pressure medicine and some high cholesterol medicine because the high blood pressure medicine makes your cholesterol go up. Ah. And the cholesterol medicine makes your blood pressure go up. So two for one. You okay. really need them both. That's cool. Um, let's see here. What's going on? I forget what's in here. Oh, uh oh, the menorah fell apart. This was the Shabbos candle. I'm sorry. This was, uh, we're in day two of Hanukkah oh, now. Wow. Little <laughs> candles to light up. And then, of course, That's like right. I said, the, it kind of fell off the little Shabbos candle, of course, always. Uh, let's see. Here's my little bush bottle. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you shake it too much. <laughs> this is a, it's just a little fun thing. I maybe should have put it in the child's, um, child's stocking. But uh, the, the adult stocking need a little more stuff here. Now, this is just... Um, you know, with the new Patriot Act now, uh, we all really have more power. Mm -hmm. Think about it. And yes. we can all become vigilantes, and we can all become, oops, that's the Jewish version. Well, this is the Jewish version, of course, okay. to deputize all of us. And, of course, <laughs> the Jews, the sheriffs always got six points on that's them, right. so Jews get to be sheriffs. All right. But work. the rest of the people, you know, just um, there's all kind of little... Um, badges and really they give you power you can turn your neighbor in you can t mm. call up about anybody um, and that's the kind of time we're living in isn't it <laughs> and here's just a nice old chocolate heart and how oh, you think love this is for Valentine's but really it's really about free speech and ain't any much left okay mm -hmm. I mean me talking here but you know cable <laughs> and then of course you know poop, another Whoa. one yeah. uh, a little bit of mention sometimes people like to give people money but this year this is what your money, <laughs> a little <laughs> bit of bread. White bread. And of course, dogs. Um, my, I thought the only thing my dog would like would be a rat, so I put a little rat in the stocking That's for the dog. I love that rat. Can mm -hmm. you take him out? Uh, well, yeah, you could. It's, he's like been on my front window for five years, I gotta say. Yeah, he comes it's out. Kind of an attractive looking rat. Well, it he really comes is. on rollers, tell you the truth. You can oh, roll really? him right down the street. See, he's got little. Oh, I have a rat rollers. like that. You can Except roll him. Sort of. Does he? And Alicia, I wanted to give you, I wanted well, you, you to have a little more power in life. So there's a little badge for you, for oh, your man. hard work. You never get any pay. Wow. And what else oh, to say? I thought there was something else I had to say here. Wait a minute. I've been giving him 20 bucks a week for <laughs> two years. Oh, okay. Hey, here. here, here, here yeah, you well, have this. There you go. <laughs> so anyway, for, think about a new angle on stuffing yeah. your stockings this uh, year. And moms, you know, look through your kids' old toys. You can make something new out of them. They won't notice. Okay, I guess that's kind of it for this. That's right. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. Okay. So, do we have any time to talk about art? Art. Um, no, this is art. That's yeah. Art. <laughs> oh, this is art. You've been kind yes. of into this mad cow thing. Yes. Um, I want to talk a little to you about this uh, problem we're going to have for the next 20, 10, 20, 30 years, right? Because they say that because they found this one cow now, it means that really means within these 10 years, there's really, I don't know why they say 299,000. Why didn't they say 300,000? But anyway, there are going to be uh, really a lot more cases showing up. That's just a reflection. Mm -hmm. You heard that, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, where's the beef? I don't know. Too bad you could close in here. No, but let no. me just lift it up. I guess I'm going to zoom in the yeah. cell phone. This yeah, one. dude. Self whoa, zoom. Whoa, self there zoom. we go. Whoa. This one over here. This one there. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, I got it. No, no, no. Oh, oh, this 
this way. This one, there we go. So anyway, here's the, where's the beep? So this is my idea. I'm always trying to make something good out of something yeah. bad, but here you yeah. got your bad beef, right? Yeah. And um, we uh, have developed a very, um, really wonderful high-tech processing um, um, way to dehydrate it and get some fuel pellets that you can then recycle safely. Uh, with all that beef you got stirred in your ice baths now, you don't know what to do with mm -hmm. it, right, folks? So here's something that we are now. It's really just on the drawing board right now, but we're going to be sending it out soon. And uh, little fuel pellets, of course, you can use your imagination. And really, you can, you can even make it out into dog food, because how, uh, how long do dogs live? That's true. Uh, but anyway, then you think, what do they do with dogs after they're dead? They feed them uh, to the cows, don't they? Say again? Don't they, they feed them to the they cows? They feed the dogs to the cows. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, I, I always put mine out on the sidewalk when they die, and I just uh, keep my fingers crossed the, um, the will come take burning it people come. Or, but anyway, and then here's your brain on pot. Here's your brain on beef. So, um, oh, and this is like really a real brain. It's just colored nicely. I just thought artistic kind of thing. But this is your brain on uh, Jacob Kreutzer's uh, disease, which is the bovine spongiform encephalopathy mm -hmm. or something <laughs> like that. And um, it's coagulated, I don't know, congested arteries. It said in the book prions. That's the key word. Mm -hmm. We all have to keep in mind prions. But um, anyway, folks, just keep it all in mind. You don't even have to have any beef anymore. You can just learn to love your cows and hug them. Aww. You know, really. And my kid, my other kid, when he was six, my other kid, that's because one kid's right there, but my big kid, when he was six years old, came up to me one day and said, how come, Mom, we kill the cows and hug the dogs? And I said, I don't know. And, you know, he just stopped eating cows. So. There you go. Anyway. Yeah. Every show, we have to, everyone has to come up with a uh, bush lie. Bring their favorite lie. <laughs> Um, and do I have one? I don't know. I guess I'll think about it. Um, Here's the one lie. The privatization okay. of water is good for you, okay? Oh, it sure ain't, right? I mean, there's all these stories already in the little places in this country and the bigger places in the Britain and wherever that uh, it's going to get dirtier and it costs more. And, and this really just started out as a valentine to water because, I, I mean, we are 70% water and, like, water is this planet. It's this beautiful thing. So anyway, though, here you open up the water and really what's inside is, oh, poop, poop and eyeballs, oops. And, uh, of course, there's money behind it all. That's why they're going to privatize the, the water, right? It's going to be our new oil. So I'm a little sad about that. Um, the water's so cool, so beautiful. But anyway, um, here I thought I made a little, um, actually, i got to tell you my little story about fake poop because you can see I, I, here's some fake poop. I had a lot of trouble getting it. But here's a little sign for Barbie, water activist Barbie. I couldn't find a Barbie at home, but flip it around. There's your bottle, Coke, and here's your beautiful uh, Hokusai wave. Uh, I just want to give you the lowdown on the poop. Uh, or what do you call it? The poop on the scoop on the poop. <laughs> I mean, I had to go everywhere. I had to call. Nowhere on the west side has fake poop. Finally, I got some fake poop. I wanted to show you all the varieties there are. And uh, this is a three-dollar version, which is high class. This is kitty poop. I didn't want to take it out of the package, but um, you can see there's a whole yeah, bunch of varieties. Yeah, and this <laughs> is poop you put on your shoe, so it looks like you stepped in poop. That's a funny one. I don't know <laughs> Put the dew on the side of a shoe and get laughs from your whole crew. That was, hmm. And then the last poop, which is um, hollow. I'm doing this as a, a Martha Stewart kind of thing. You and should save service. some of this fake poop, public service. You need it for your arts and crafts project. I always do. I always need a little piece of poop in one of my projects. Here's, it matters though if it's hollow poop or if it's solid poop for how you need to attach it into your um, thing. So. Be aware that poop comes, not just real poop comes in all shapes and sizes, but the fake poop too, and that's my scoop on poop. So what's the sort of the star version? Yeah, oh, we yeah, they, they all do look kind of the same. Uh, they're, 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 that's one of them in here. It's one of those star ones, but uh, yeah, I know they almost look like chocolate, like bubbly. I haven't, I haven't seen poop like this in nature. <laughs> <coughs> this poop this is one, really looks real. Yeah, that this is, is good. three dollars. The others were a buck. This is the good one. So anyway, uh, we got a lot of poop in this world, so. And, and, and privatization of water is, is sucks, you guys. Is it connected to poop in some way? Um, yes, it, yes, exactly. Yeah, what's the point here again? <laughs> you see, 
When you privatize, see, you end up That's more right. poop. Poop in your water. And then there's money mixed into the poop. It's just a <laughs> bad losing situation. But anyway, and then there, and the eyeballs. I'm not kidding. There are eyeballs in your water. Uh, but there will be more if you privatize. <laughs> so don't do it. Don't. I mean, don't. Say, and be a water activist. There's all these websites for all these people watching the water, the oceans, the rivers. The uh, rainforest. You know, I saw this great show on uh, NPR. It was, a, it was. I think it was like Independent View or Vision or something, where they were following. There was like this. These activists in New York City, and they like took these gang kids, and they gave them like video cameras and like water testing equipment, and they'd go out into like the Hudson and uh, whatever waterways were in the New York wow. City area, wow. and they'd like get. Uh, uh, they, I know what they were. They were looking for people dumping untreated sewage and they'd go go all up and down the river looking for like these little spouts of water coming into the river and they'd like fill them in there i don't know why they, how they touched it but they yeah there was some interesting results from that study because apparently the kids took the cameras and they never saw them again <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and then they got porno tape showing up on yes. the internet <laughs> anyway i didn't show you this picture did i you guys camera real quick here this is um, from the article from public citizen on uh, water privatization fiascos but what's this lady doing? I cannot tell. If someone could call in and, and write in and tell us, or I guess you can't see it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> anyway, see, she's squeezing something into the water, and you really can't tell what it is. And it's like a lady, and it's like a third world. Ten feet away, you can't tell, huh? It's Say like again? A, just keep it here so that yeah. I can get it. Um, so it's a third world country. Is she like a third world lady? She, she looks like a third world in a water. third world place, because those three big things are water. People, Americans, they keep their water in their kitchen, right? I mean, <laughs> so anyway, and then on the other side, yeah, there you go. See, she's squeezing something. Is she squeezing soap? Is it like this is uh, I don't know what that the is. water? Yeah, we, or is it a sponge, as my son says? Are anyway, it's a mystery. Water? Yeah, what Looks in the like heck? Printer ink. Yeah, maybe she runs a Xerox <laughs> company. And on the that. back, I just thought it was a little interesting title page for How to Privatize Your Water, and it's written in English and Arabic and Italian. So there's an interesting wow. combination. Yeah, and, uh, in the Middle East, the water is a really important issue. I yeah. Know, I know on the West Bank, there's a, uh, you know, the, everyone's afraid that whoever, you know, gets what piece of land is going to cut the water off for the other people. That's happening, in fact, from to San Diego. Isn't there some uh, case of that down in Arizona? We should cut the water law. for San yeah, Diego. San Diego's yeah. no good. They're, gro <laughs> they're growing too fast. It's an Al-Qaeda cell. <laughs> the whole city. San Diego. <laughs> right there on yeah. the border. I think yeah. they should quarantine the whole city. I agree. That would control, keep our border safe. Right. <laughs> Let's just move the border up on this side of San Diego. Yeah. So San Diego ends up in Mexico. Then we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, you said, it, it, I'm yeah. just curious. I mean, did can people see me, or did you put these? Uh, what's the deal? <laughs> Who, did anyone hear anything? I didn't. What? No. what <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Go ahead. Here today? Talk. Two Enjoy us. yourselves. Two Enjoy us. yourselves. And that was like my little introduction into what you were going to do for us today. Well, I am getting married today, folks. Yes. And um, I know she I looks have, like a nun. I know. I tried. Really I, 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 I put on this was my <laughs> Halloween. I got some things out from Halloween, and I did go to the thrift store and I bought a few new layers. Uh, and I'll tell you, I have been proposed to twice in life. Thank God, I said no both times. I gotta say, but the thing about the gay marriage is that most of the people don't understand is it's really protection of the family. To me, that's mm -hmm. the whole main real thing it is. And so I brought um, some of my turtles here today that I am going to marry right here live, folks, on cable TV. And this is actually El Nino. He's one of the children. He was He's going to be the ring bearer, except there's no ring because no ring. But uh, And he's in mourning now. because really his little baby brother was going to come today and the cage had a little hole in it and he's out. Of, it's out of there and I'm sorry I don't think I'll ever find him but so uh, he's just coming anyway for the little bit of festivities meaning the worms. At least there'll be some worms here for the wedding cake. Anyway so um, and here's the other guy which I was afraid to put um, in the same room with the his son Johnny but there's kind of two couples. Here's my hey, little. Hey, look at pops. Here's my little. Uh, yeah, really. Wait. Here's my little thing in the background. Um, it just reminds you what is the whole point of marriage. It is to protect. That's right. The family and. 
uh, people forget all these gay couples have kids and the, the kids and, and just the other piece, people of the family who don't get to um, go to the hospital and all that stuff. Don't get the will, don't get, ooh, ooh, ooh. So anyway, I better give him some wormies to keep him a little busy here. And really, I baked a wedding cake, which is truly fresh berries. I don't know if your camera can zoom in and see the lovely cake. Crisp, very crisp. And uh, no, I'll put it in there. It's actually here. Uh, let me get, some, let me get some wormies going for him yeah, before they go crazy. Here, wormies, wormies, wormies. Happy All wedding. Right. Alicia, whoa, well, maybe, maybe you'd say. Uh, okay, the, the, by the, the power the, the, vested in me by Adelphia Cable. Yeah. Uh, I now <laughs> pronounce you. Um, I don't know. A family. A family. A okay. married <laughs> family. See, I need to protect these Yay. guys. They are all dressed up very nicely. Yeah, I don't know if you guys this can see top hat. the camera. This is the guys, the guys' formal wear, mm -hmm. and the women, I mean the females, they wear a little flower. So it all works out. Um, we can. You get uh, we can. Uh, yeah, here? this is the can... wedding cake. But uh, you guys, please, can you just take one spoon of it without worms? <laughs> sure. I swear, no worms. I swear. Just try it. Everything's real food, even though the crisp is true is is quite old. <laughs> but the berries are but are the berries are morning. fresh the okay. berries are fresh i'm Here. game okay yeah, any no, any other i uh, think for the really ceremony that you oh just some marching out music okay yes splish splash splish splash that's what the, uh, whoa i gotta get like rid of this stuff splash, in here yeah. there you go hey i'm here married you go. mom mm. up in heaven and dad i mm. know you always wanted me to get married so you know what see i got a ring i'll put it on this finger makes it look for real, okay, and uh, these guys, it's law, it's the law. So, <laughs> you nobody mess with my turtles now, understand? And That's they right. get everything when I die. I'm leaving everything to them. <laughs> <laughs> so, he might have uh, yeah, a problem oh, with that. Oh, my son over there, uh, he gets nothing. <laughs> he gets the turtles. <laughs> oh, God, rancid. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I took a bite anyway. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, actually, all right. It. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. it. The berries are good. The just berries are good. All I say to my kids: just try it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think we have to put him back in his box. He's very. Yeah, funky. this guy. Uh, He's gonna crawl into I my know. lap and Well, time. he was he was there for the ceremony, and yeah, that's what he, counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the father of the turtle the, family. <laughs> <he's> <laughs> turtles. Yeah, I'm sorry, you don't like my turtles. You see, this is why we have a law. I need to protect <laughs> right. people like this. It's another example of pe people voting against their own economic interests. Yeah, now, it, the, those Christians would say, why should people vote their economic interests when they, they should vote their moral, moral and yes, ethical interests right. and well, religious interests? And, and then I heard this too, it was really interesting on the radio, they're saying that the faith idea makes them understand that suffering is okay. So when they're losing their job and everything's going downhill, it's like God's testing them right. and that's just the right thing. I mean, that's just how, right. so sure. it all kind of all makes sense that it, mm -hmm. it's happening this way. It's not uh, something to question too much. Mm -hmm. okay, Here's my, by the way, I might as well should say yeah, this is good. This is my take on elections. I was thinking heaven and hell, and I was going to put a little heaven in, which might be time to get anti-war again, time to get out of Iraq. I mean, just to focus on that is some energy going in a positive way. But anyway, it just ended up to be hell, got to say. <laughs> uh, and it's a little chart. Um, here's fear. Is this on? The camera's not on this, is it? I'm looking on the monitor there, whatever. No, no, hey, not. hello, camera. Should be on here. This is my painting. Would you please? Was no, whatever. Maybe you need to move it, put <laughs> it on your lap. Yeah, we'll wait for the lap. camera here. Uh, should I do my cable zoom? You know? <laughs> anyway, fear and despair, that's the hell part. And I was going to put a little edge of heaven, but like I said, probably going to have to be another. Uh, but it's a happy pain. face over there. Well, that's, but there's a snake around that. See, this is the fear. <laughs> ah. Fear is uh, social security mm -hmm. and the environment. They're all going to go to hell in a hand bazaar <laughs> really quick, right? And then the despair is the Iraqi war because really what they're doing in Fallujah, I just can't bear it, really, mm -hmm. at this moment, how we're just bumped. And people, all these faith people who are against abortion, how many pregnant women are we killing over there? I mean, yeah, I heard are that you really against that? And, and they're really live children. Life? Huh? And they're yeah, and all the children already born. So anyway, the, that's the despair and that's the fear. And I really think our environment, I mean, I, this is the first time I tried to paint something plush. That was an experiment here. It, it puffed up. It was very interesting. <laughs> it's a stuffed animal. It's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, it, it sort of kept getting bigger. Uh, now, I'd like to point something out. In spite of whatever meaning that Janice is giving this painting, I just want to say that it's a beautiful 
piece of work. I mean, the, the Janice's facility with color is very admirable. She avoids getting muddy in this transition from yeah. the hot colors to the cool colors. Layering, she's, layering. Yeah, she's clearly a good artist, so <laughs> who cares what it means? Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> and I, that's I, all it I just made it up at the last minute this was a chart. First so what's I, the, what's I, said, the, I don't know exactly what it's going to be. But, what's oh, the drumstick chart. for? Um, well, that's just the idea that's of for dinner. meat. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, you know, I love these little drumsticks. I get them at Pick and Save. I bought like ten of them. They're little squeaky toys for your dog. I don't know. I just like the form of it. I mean, just that's as very our, nice. our thing. Well, I know it's not exactly like the dolphin doesn't exactly turn into the meat, but. Uh, he has to drink. Oh yeah, close, close, close enough. enough. I like that. Close enough. <laughs> I'll just tell like you, the Janet, tuna, right? I don't care what it Dolphins means. It's close yeah. enough. Beautiful. It just is beautiful. Well, thank you. I do. I, I get. I you're get into the artist. painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a good artist. Okay. And I didn't want to be too preachy, but <clears throat> I had to be a little bit preachy today. That's <clears throat> okay. You know what? Bob Dylan himself, who's thought of as a real political artist, says, "It's not what you say; it's how you say it." That's okay. one of his quotes. So that's. It. Well, I had fun. And certainly, I had fun, but I if you say didn't that. say it so beautifully, no one would pay attention. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on to something more entertaining. Fallujah! <laughs> okay, yeah, well, okay, we're after Fallujah. Well, I thought it was a connection with the blood thing before. I, I'm sorry I got into red paint here. Um, but Christmas is coming up, everybody, and I've come up with some ideas that everybody in the, um, your own home can also do. Because really, a lot of what I use this... Um, I, it started off when I read about the dogs were eating the bodies in Fallujah, mm. and so people were walking around with pieces of their relatives to bury, and they didn't have the whole body anymore because the dogs had eaten it already. So I just started thinking body parts, body parts, and I thought, boy, Fallujah right now is so really just so painful, like just the situation there. I can't really stop thinking about it. So I thought, well... Here's a chance to use all, recycle your old toys again for Christmas and make some body part Christmas ornaments. Uh, and I even thought to put um, a spy camera in some of them and real embedded, like we really get into those households and find out really what's cooking like we don't really know right now, right? But that's sort of on the side a little, some of these little fakes, um, they're really not fakes, either for real spy cameras. <laughs> but anyway, I just turned out to kind of be a wreath. Here's um use some dolls and so you can twist them all up like a real body with rigor mortis you really couldn't do this kind of thing with now remember folks at home this is only to do with doll parts not real <laughs> body parts you know I don't think that's gonna work but anyway one of those soft fabric dolls you twist it all up and you can get a kind of interesting excuse me shape mm -hmm. here I got a few medicine bottles here because and I filled them with candy for the holidays because we really don't have any medicine to give them there in fact, on the fact sheets, I don't have it there. I did run across it, um, and I couldn't, I didn't pull it out of the web again. But um, how many uh, hospitals we bombed? No medicine, no even surgeons anymore. Here, one of these little fact sheets says about how we killed the 20 um, doctors. That was really sad. Yeah, 20 Iraqi doctors got hit in a hit. So there's a lot of body parts, let's put it that way. But anyway, in terms of Christmas, it, here is you can use one doll to make two different ornaments. So you can really spread it out. And, of course, uh, legs are nice for a wreath kind of an effect. Then, of course, you, if you use all the legs, you're going to have... Um, the, the rest of the body left, and I hate to waste anything, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can um, make a little candy dispenser for the kids on the holidays, right? And some things can just be so simple. I mean, here's just a little doll head which came with this already in it, and like, just... You don't need much more than that. You can hang it right on your tree, just like uh -huh. that. You can even sip some lemonade. <laughs> I thought, lemonade yeah, I thought you could drink it. from it, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say for slushies. You can it's mm -hmm. a slushy kind of thing. <laughs> so what did I forget here? Just... Uh, Fallujah fun facts. You should try to keep up on this. Uh, it's, these are for real facts, folks. Like, we know that there are 38 Americans killed in Fallujah and six Iraqi troops and 1,200 insurgents. Mm. And AKA how many civilians? civilians? Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> we didn't count them. We counted everyone else, so we don't know about civilians. And uh, what else is there to know? I really think um, it's just not real to people over here. We don't get the information, and it's... I don't know, I just do my stupid satire to, uh, that's what I can do. <laughs> I feel like, God, I can't believe that, you know, those people right there, no water still, no electricity. I know there's no one left in the city, it's like a dead city. That's really what's mm -hmm. happened now, right? 
So yeah, anyway, I'm just like mentioning that. it for the Christmas holidays. And to keep in mind, you can do something. You can make your little ornaments mm -hmm. in, as a form of protest, too. Just like any kind of form of protest. Make a little protesting ornament. And, of course, you could put a spy camera in them. That's the, <laughs> the ultimate thing. <laughs> <laughs> just so you get in the the spy Where the spy camera will, like, wire it into Ashcroft? <laughs> uh, for him to eat it? Wait, the Injustice no. Department. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. Right, where, did, right. where, did, where did the spy camera go? <laughs> send the information? Uh, well, it goes to the big eye in the sky, which <laughs> is uh, America. <laughs> <laughs> we keep track, huh? We keep track of everything. Oh, everything. That's you're, real. The, you're the yeah. Martha Stewart. <laughs> they're, the, you, they're the replacement. Yeah, the replacement. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah. When, Tuesday? Ooh. Yep. <laughs> no, oh, oh, but in a while. No, no, no. We've got a while. Yeah. That's my excuse to go to lunch with the girls. Well, a little more than a week, something like that. <laughs> okay, so, but um, I know that you've uh -huh. been working on a new project for Valentine's Day. Well, really, I think um, there's this whole new opportunities that waging war on people has mm -hmm. opened up for Valentine's Day, mm. really. And I started off, I was going to build the war machine, the ultimate war machine, and of course, well, follow the money. You put in the money, you have to kind of, this is a little complicated, not too complicated. Yeah. Hey, zoom you know? on her little uh, doodad here. Yeah, it's really, there's hidden, there's hidden um, cockroaches peeking out of their trains. <laughs> you need to get in close to see them. No. Uh, we're killing a lot of people in Baghdad. Of course, we don't even know how many, but there are a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So really, in the end, when we use this war machine there, this is Baghdad, but all of Iraq, and of course, it's going to be Venezuela soon, Iran sooner. What do we get? Get dead people. But we can harvest these people, and their hearts now become a perfect symbol for Valentine's Day. <laughs> they, uh, The hospitals have just um, made a contract Ooh, with us. Okay. And uh, so they're yeah. sending us these hearts, and we're packaging them up. Valentine's Day is the holiday for hearts, oh, <laughs> and nice these are real hearts. Well, nothing yeah. fake here. Real hearts, mainly from Iraqi children, because they have to be small enough to kind of uh, <laughs> for the packaging and everything else. But anyway, um, this is just the way it is. This is how a war machine works. You get the general drift, and uh, it's so nice. At least we can be making some money off it, not so. just death for death's sake. But at least mm -hmm. some money should be coming in. And isn't the soil and green? Isn't there some nutrition in there? <laughs> well, you know, that's the next stage. Yeah. But we thought just for Valentine's Day, just sort of no, offer up the hearts as a, a symbolic. So that girl know. that you're stalking, you can, and you've been telling, you've been ripping my heart out. You can now <laughs> give her one. Yeah, Perfect. yeah, yeah. And and like you said, let's go the next step uh -huh. because we're uh, we we this is like good protein just sitting there, not yeah. doing anything. Of course, they, we can't let them put formaldehyde in when they send them. So, because we wouldn't be able to eat them then. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be on the market soon. This is a whole new thing. I never even, I mean, this really was called Hearts Forever. And just the idea that, yes, a real live beating heart. And uh, it came from our friends in Iraq. Wow. Well, Thanks. I know a lot of people had to die in Iraq, but that's because they were bringing them democracy, and that's why I feel so bad about Scott Peterson, because he was just bringing democracy to his family. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has to say, I'm bringing, I'm bringing democracy. Oh, oh, oh. After Then the he fact. wouldn't die. You yeah, have to admit he needs it. a Karl yeah. Rove in his corner. He does. <laughs> he does. He too needs a Karl Rove. Yes, yeah. don't we all? Yes. <laughs> Why don't we take a look at uh, Janice's new product? You might think uh, when I say my new company is called Bottled Rage that that means um, I'm going to offer some kind of psychological counseling for you to deal with your problems. <laughs> but on the contrary, <laughs> <laughs> on the contrary, I think you all, especially us Americans, ought to take all of our rage and put it back in the bottle. <laughs> There's just too much of it out there. I think the bottle is a good place. So I've given you some ideas here on the kinds of bottles different kind of rages could fit in. Yeah. I hope, boy, you can get close up because these are kind of hard to read here. Uh, racism, of course, is a lot of rage. I, I could have put some nails in there with the Aunt Jemima. I don't know if you can tell the Aunt Jemima there. But um, this had started out to be uh, sour grapes, Cuban. All those Florida Cubans can't let go of, um, you know, what they <laughs> lost how many years ago. They're still, like, going crazy over it. Uh, but, of course, they, everybody lets their genie out of the bottle and just kills everybody willy-nilly. Ran all these trigger-happy GIs, bang, 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 right? It's just too much of it. 
Um, here's your classic um, rage, which is just um, some body part that you're pissed off at. <laughs> Maybe it's somebody else's, like their finger in your chili kind of thing, right? But just, that's just really some fun clay, actually. Um, Body part. Yeah, okay. body part, yeah. And then this is a road rage, and uh, I, I didn't have a top for this jar, and then I really realized that some rage, you just cannot put a top on that bottle. <laughs> Maybe the, the, this one, some, you should be able to control your road rage, it's true. Here's some rage um, for our country, and I, I could have made that more disgusting and angry. I mean, I'm, I'm, that's a lot of my rage, it's the way our government, it's really government rage, right? Here's for, I don't know if you can see, parental abuse. Poor little girl, she's kind of all turned white. I made her be able to pop out of that bottle. I just didn't want to get too depressed over it. Here's Rage. Can you see Rage um, over your uh, medical insurance? <laughs> Which you cannot <laughs> put a top on. Yeah, that's just uncontrollable Rage. This is terrorism. And I thought, well, we all know Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda. Everybody's talking about Al-Qaeda. But everyone forgets Contras, 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 you know, and all those people who died in Latin America. And George Bush, George Bush, George Bush. <laughs> yeah, I know. He should have been behind her. I, and next time I do this art, in case you want to order one, folks, I'll put a George Bush in your little, your little <laughs> bottle there. And here, when you do this at home, any bottle you got at home is good. Even a little bottle is good because rage, a little rage goes a long way. Oh, and so find a little bottle at home. You can do this on your own. Um, and really, like I said, stuff it back in. All you parents ready to wring your kid's neck, stop. Use a booze bottle, and I would say drink the booze first. I thought that, about that for a while. Say your hands aren't quite as strong. <laughs> yeah. That's good Drink the booze, then you'll have a booze bottle. You can put all kind of stuff in there. Anyway, there you go, my offering for this month. Um, but really, let's get this rage under control. Let's stop invading all the other countries. That's really so, yeah, what this I one, would say. This one here with the road rage thing kind of reminded me, like this month, uh, Florida passed that new law about uh, being able to shoot people uh, at oh, will all right, the, yeah. in public. Yeah, that's a good one, uh-huh. Yeah, you don't have to <laughs> shoot them in the yard and drag them into the house anymore. If they are threatening you in any way, yeah. Well, if you perceive threat, perceive it like their eyes, the way they look. Right. Yeah, sure. Don't back down. Whatever you do, don't back down. <laughs> yeah, don't walk away. Oh, well, this might be an opportunity for us to uh, for Janice to tell us about your new fabulous new product. New product, you guys, this month, and um, it's uh, Embryonic Tonic, okay? Ooh. That's the name of my uh, thing here. Uh, normal um, stem cell tonic, uh, tonics, normal stem cell tonics, you know, the regular type. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really produced uh, um, in this way, starting with one embryo, one fertilized egg, and then inside the blastocyst, all these little stem cells start being made, and boop, you got a lot. They're cultured and you got a lot. But because of the energy crisis, okay, all these fertility clinics now, they're really stuck. They're having, they're, they're having to unload a lot of their embryos, okay? They're because cleaning out their inventory. We, we got a deal, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we got a deal. <laughs> and so we can offer to all of you guys real embryonic tonic because yeah. this is really embryos in here okay yeah. some of them you can see already here's a few little bottles now we guarantee at least a hundred embryos in every gulp and i mean some you can already Ooh. see this stuff is so fresh that um it really develops as you just sort of look at it right and i thought alicia is always willing to take a swig it's great for you look <laughs> you know, it makes you whoopsie strong as a horse of course, that's the Viagra connection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smart as Einstein, regular as a clock, and fierce yet friendly as a dog. Uh, and of course, here I show you the cup. It's like yeah. the Holy Grail because right. really there are like lots of babies inside when you drink my tonic. And that's what makes it so great with such neurological energy. And it's not like that other stuff I made you drink like five years ago, okay? <laughs> when your head got bigger. It, it's not like that, okay? Here. But it's, um, it's just up to oh, here. And Linda, you and some, see, these are developing oh. so quick. It's so quick that the, wow. there's already babies. Or, and you can drink them too. I mean, they're not, they're not alive. They're embryos, but um, they're embryos. A toast. <laughs> yeah, get in tight on the beverage. Here, you, but here, here's a wait. Yeah, I was gonna um, here. Wait a minute. Yeah, a few more. There, oh, there pop them go. in there to give you extra added. 
extra mm. added whatever. There we go. These, look at little babies. Yeah. And these are the little bitty embryos. <laughs> <laughs> Cable, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, anyway, it's, um, like I say, it's just sort of a once in a lifetime kind of thing because once these fertility clinics just, they're, they're not going to uh, close up totally, but they are kind of, what's that word, um, buckling or up a little bit. Downsizing is exactly right. <laughs> So you know, they just can't keep all those eggs anymore. Yeah. They, um, they're looking for people like us who really could benefit from the eggs. Why, mm -hmm. why flush them down the toilet, right? It's really flush them in the right place. place. To know? regularity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting a little buzz off. Oh, of and it. I was going to say, sometimes they really go oh. quick. You know, whoopsie, whoopsie, i got to stir that up a little bit. <laughs> What the hell is that? You know, because look at how developed. <laughs> it's you know, like a swizzle stick. I told him it hasn't been anywhere weird. It's fine. <laughs> Good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Embryonic. And, and not, not only that, but fierce, but fierce yet friendly, Alicia. It's a little early for Valentine's Day, but we do have, uh, just to get in the mood, mm -hmm. Janice has brought us something. Well, it's good to celebrate every day, Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Abby Hoffman, I remember he, that was the big thing he said, that it would be great every day should be Valentine's every evening, every night Halloween, and I really subscribe to that. I think that would be wonderful. But anyway, this is a weird one, but it was fun to make it, I got to say. <laughs> And I think all these thrift store people think I'm crazy. I'm always buying these little war toys. Mm -hmm. But actually, all you moms and dads out there, here's a chance for you to go through your kids' toys and, and dig up all those uh, war toys that they're not using anymore. They got a new generation of them, I'm sure. And do something, give them a new life. Make, mm -hmm. a, make a little, uh, well, in this case, it's a Valentine's for, to for technology. Here is if you love technology, because uh, people do, right? This is uh, America has their love affair yeah. with, really, huh? Mm -hmm. People, we love our high tech, everything. That's right. And then, see, really though, I think it's really this is a Valentine of a mother for her child. See, there's the dead baby. Here's the mommy. She's messed up. That's for sure. And. Uh, couldn't think this is how it was truly uh, I couldn't think of what to put in this little helicopter see it was a helicopter to begin with and I thought what can I mean this helicopter has a, a snake in it that's okay that works so anyway in the end I realized hey that's her empty womb because there's her baby mm -hmm. over there see so that worked but this is a little feedback mechanism because it is so high tech you know right. <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. cool. it doesn't talk back too much it doesn't tell you too much it's um all that high-tech secret stuff. So anyway, love hurts, love costs. It's not exactly a poem, and really, of course, those are traditional things you would say on Halloween. Maybe not this one, huh? But love see, costs. I'm thinking of how it really hurts. See how we love our weapons. Like, boy, does this hurt? <laughs> okay, I don't want to. I don't want to get going. You know. <laughs> yeah. We could have our little torture tidbits. Mm. And you the, know, up to and, date on torture. Any good news on the torture front? It, it's going strong <laughs> it's going every day. Strong. There are people getting tortured. Hey, how about Uzbekistan? That's the one that hit hard this there week. There you go. Boy, you know, I'm alive. Yes. <laughs> yeah. you, this, I mean, and the mother had to take her son out mm. of the coffin while the, the, the coffin was being guarded from the out of the house and put him up on a slab and document with photographs that he had been really boiled alive in Uzbekistan. And we, I think that's the place we're sending people to be rendered. Right. Yeah, that is one of them. It's like, uh, it's really, kind of a uh, nice what a way to go. Huh? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Rendering, nice you know, rendering. Yeah, also really, I mean, getting off the fat. <laughs> right, yeah, that's right. right. Cooking something down. Through boiling, oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. And these people, they knew they were rendered. Mm -hmm. They knew they were boiled because of the line. I mean, it Ooh. wasn't just that they got warmed up right. in an oven. Right. They got, uh, and they, in other words, their head was still above water while they were yeah, being boiled. Were, uh, so all the people doing could really have a show. Yeah. Boy, is, what a show. It is so old school. I mean, that is going so way back for a way to torture people, boiling them alive. But I was telling you, it's like the stories we used to hear in Catholic school about what the Romans did to the early saints and stuff, boiling oil and boiling water and stuff like that. That's, you know, that was that, you know, that's medieval. That's beyond medieval. That's Roman Empire stuff. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they should tell you about the Inquisition doing that, too. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 they didn't. No, no, the Inquisition, it was big on the metal stuff. You uh, know, machinery. The, exactly. exactly <laughs> you know, the Iron Maiden and all that sort of stuff.
Happy Easter. Let's get in the Happy Easter, Easter mood. Remember, it has to do with death and rebirth. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm a little loaded on the death side today for this one. It's called Reptiles Rule. Mm -hmm. And um, I, it's just, I got, I, really what it was is I got all these McDonald's squishy circles and I started thinking about little snakes coming out of them. So it kind of led to this, even though in the end I found that Easter, real East, fake Easter eggs work better. But it has to do with the military and how... We're just plowing right ahead, and mm. we're going to kill more people for mm -hmm. nothing. So happy Easter, and that's the death. And all these, you see, foreign policy, it's so bad. Our foreign policy, to me, it's just killing people. So here, I put a little foreign policy in every oh. egg. See, people can, um, what's something okay. you can do for your that's Easter kind of celebrations? A thing. Like Easter, the, the idea camera, of death. Open up and, and, you know, snakes are symbols of regeneration, Oh, too. actually, that's, okay. yeah, yeah, forget, of course, yeah. Oh, oh look, a way? partial snake. Yeah, the, I, I couldn't, I was running out of the uh, small so whole one, so I started chopping snake up a bites. few with a big one. Yeah, we call right. them snake bites. Right. Oh, my God, right. There you a little go. snakey coming out. So that's our <laughs> oh, foreign right, policy. There we go. Something there. And then if we can cl close up on the, the thing behind me here. Well, yeah, what can I say here? What can I say? Here's a little Easter bonnet on the um, dinosaur, which is not really a reptile. I know so it's a reptile's rule. this is snakes coming out of eggs and a little dinosaur here. He's like just in the middle. He's got a little in his uh, in mouth. Uh, what do you call it when you're a policeman? A badge. A badge. He's okay. got the authority in his mouth. Oh. He's got a little Easter bonnet on top. He's riding a bomber. Yeah. I'm not saying it's our country's bomber, so <laughs> don't start following me around, it's right? Just a it's bomber. any bomber. Right. Any reptile on any bomber is bad news. That's what my, that's what I say. Okay. <laughs> so much just more snakes. Like if I'd w been looking at this one more day, I would have probably started nailing more snakes mm -hmm. onto it. But tune in two weeks from now. We're going to do another show. And guess what? I bet there's going to be a few more eggs and snakes because yeah. I haven't finished. There'll be a few more dead people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, it's a, it's a shame because uh, we we have no idea. We're all upset about our own soldiers dying, mm -hmm. right? And, mm -hmm. and all of the crippled. And I mean, just, uh just all these people getting it for nothing, like the ones they just t talked about last week with them. They were mad about the shooting, so they go into the house and they just massacre everyone in the house. Do you remember no, where was that case? And the one little oh, girl survived wait, right, because yeah. she we hid in the yes. other room. Because she hid in the and other room. And they all had their hands bound. In, uh, with, so um, it was kind of execution-style ah. type killings. and Over and over. It's, and what do they say, mm -hmm. 60 a day get kidnapped? I couldn't believe that. Something like that. I yeah, heard. something like that. And I thought, I mean, that's just sort of unbelievable. 60 people, they kidnap. Well, I have a question uh -huh. about your dinosaur. So the dinosaur yeah. is just an old dinosaur riding the bomber. It's not anything about the oil. Because, you know, I thought dinosaur oil was old dinosaurs. Oh, that's a per I didn't even think of that. That is great. Okay. That is great. <laughs> I, that's why, yes, I like that yeah, for thought, sure. Okay. Yeah, because here's the oil. You didn't, we didn't even know It was the oil. We? Yeah, okay. Whoa, yes. I just thought on the dinosaur, on the reptile angle, but mm -hmm. definitely, and maybe oil. I should, I should fill the eggs with oil for the next time. Oh, that's anyway, a good you know, idea. Something gross, something <laughs> gross. But here's my old theory again, which is that we should uh, destroy all the oil fields everywhere right now, mm -hmm. all of them, burn them all up. That's no more oil walls, wars. Mm -hmm. You know, that'll be the end of it. Actually, I can't, maybe Linda, you remember the name of this guy. He just wrote a book where he took the history of our invasions from the beginning. Oh. And he just got the book out. And that inspired me to do this, yeah. tell you the truth. This is the road to hell. And it starts with the Indians. And I found this on the web. This is uh, from Wounded Knee. Actually, Wounded Knee is not that long ago. But these are all of our invasions. It's really pages. Some are just commander. When we mm -hmm. did Iran in 1953, we were just commanding. We weren't really sending in troops. Somebody else's troops like that we commanded. Yeah, it was yeah. like such a clever little coup that guy Roosevelt's uh, grandson right. did, right? But right. anyway, it did really work and overthrew the whole Democratic government. But anyway, starting at the, the top. Road. Yeah, yeah, here's the road to hell. I know, don't tell me hell. it doesn't look so good. It's not quite oh, a good road. Actually, well, it looks it fabulous. Looks fun, it looks yeah. like the inside of a body. It well, looks like a, an element, starting here with an element, Indian, elementary Indians. canal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I wanted it to be a little gross. Like it if looks I, if great. I made no, it. but it's true. It's yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Nicaragua. That was twice, 1894 and 
Again, um, whenever I'm trying to learn this history here, 1984, you can flip those little mm -hmm. digits around. All democratically elected. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and then uh, I put Cuba in three times because <laughs> I, we've invaded them really more like four. I kind of right. got tired of doing this after three. I have a jigsaw. I got, you know what I mean? It was really a hard one to do. Mm -hmm. Cuba, my God. But 1898, 03, 06, and really 012, and blah, blah, blah. So we don't know this you really. You ran out really. of space, didn't you? Well, I and, and yeah. I'm sorry, Southeast Asia got so tiny. That's a big one. That's like four yeah. countries. But Guatemala, I, lo I love that place. I've never been there, really. But anyway, 1954. <laughs> and here's our latest, of course, Iraq. Mm -hmm. Now, see, the planes are coming on the road, and then oh, good stuff leaving Iraq. That's taking away some money. She liked the bottom also, it should have been bigger. But uh, that's a really pretty hard one to cut, I'll tell you. So, and Chile was the copper. Guatemala was the bananas. Can you mm -hmm. imagine how we invaded United just for Fruit bananas? Company. It's so ridiculous, right? Why not? Yeah, right. right, right, right. Keep but the anyway, of down. yeah, really, right? Yes, yes, it's really been it a godsend to our, our economy. Yeah. <laughs> now, I just want to mention. I don't know if this is a good guy, but he he works for. He's a uh, professor at University of Wisconsin, Zoltan Grossman. University just, of Wisconsin. Yeah, and it's just a, such a cool little list. So compact, even though it is like eight pages long. It's a know? web page. Ooh. Yes, so we know it. Grossman, let the bloody truth be told. Let is that it? Truth is that the name of www? Let the bloody truth be told. Well, that'll work. Oh, I oh. can't say that. He's not making any money. Anyway, whatever. Oh. It's just a good list. Is it that org or that net? I just found it. That? You know, just Google. Google. Oh. Um, um, His name. Huh? Google anything. Google <laughs> imperialism. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the anyway, the guy's book really was nice too because it, it helped me get in my, my history in a little mm -hmm. better shape. I think, no, no, we forget, like who would even know about the Cuba thing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, why you hear about lately? Because they have some lawsuit going, do you know this? Based right, on the, the queen. There, yeah, yeah right. there's something right. going right yeah. now. Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, we're starting to talk about war. Why don't you tell us about your uh, new business? Yeah, because there's going to be a whole lot more soldiers uh, coming up now in our ranks, and uh, I thought, really, uh, they're going to be traumatized having to kill all these people. We need to kind of pave the way, make sure, smooth the way, so people can go in there, kill and get out and psh, get back to good normal. About yeah. <laughs> so I thought, well, okay, how to kill in three easy steps. Okay, it's like a little bit of a training thing. So easy, though, to really kind of grab here. So your first step is know your enemy. Whoa, it's just some rat. It's a vermin. That's vermin, <laughs> right? So it's easy. Just kill him if you think he's a rat. So first of all, is just get the focus on, on really who is your enemy. Of course, whoever it is, it, it will be a rat, right. right? Second, whoa, the handle, the vandals took the handle. Oh, my God. Anyway, the second one. It's just, you're just a tough. Yeah. Check with God. Now, what's that mean? Woo! Look inside. See, yeah. there's God. What is God going to tell you? He's going to say, I love you. And, and then it's all right, you can go ahead and do whatever it is you got to do. You don't even have to get into the details. You're not going to say, God, should I kill this little child walking down the street? He might be carrying a booby trap. Right. No, it's just God loves you, and really, you can now go for it. And there's a little bit of God down in the tunnel. Okay. And is not a fan of the little child. No, God loves <laughs> yeah. you. No, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. Never to anybody else. The child. <laughs> I don't know. And then, of course, in the end, you get something. Of course you Yay. get something. You get prizes. Whee! You get some, uh, what do you call that, medals? Medals, Whee! all right? And, and you probably get a bullet hole in your brain as well, but you can but enjoy it now. And God <laughs> loves you. So, so um, this is what I want you all to keep in mind, those of you thinking about um, joining now the uh, Army. Um, just remember, go in right. Make sure you get trained first so you don't come out a, a total mess and kill yourself, mm -hmm. even after you miss getting wounded, right? Okay. <laughs> um, well, can I, can yeah, I offer oh, yeah, a solution? Right. Here's a, a solution, solution. to solution. all the crazy <laughs> in the world. Okay? Yeah, is it's a little mandala, project. but it's like 3D mandala. You don't see the punchline yet. Like in a real mandala, mm -hmm. it's all there right in front of you, right? And you just sort of travel around. And here you got to kind of travel in, but 
to me, this is like the problems, okay? A lot of this is the problems, not this. This is just saying, hello, hello, come on in. Oops. Yes. But uh, here, here's the problem. Oh. See, I don't know if you guys can tell cable people, but uh, there's no <laughs> Florida anymore, okay? See, this is global warming, okay? And there's not much, uh, Latin America's yeah. um, getting a little, little skinnier, too. So this is, uh, we're facing all this now. And uh, also, I don't know if you can tell here, can you guys see this one? See, where did all the bees go? Have, have you wondered about that? Mm -hmm. You know, the bees are gone. They're, they're going. They have neurological diseases. They're not finding their way back to the hive. Well, I'm just trying to make a little joke, of course. But really, maybe this is the culprit, right? The uh, people keep talking about the cars, though, lately. I've heard it's really the airplanes that are doing the damage more than uh, anything. It's the, the airplanes. But really, in my opinion, this is a problem. The king, the king in our culture. And it's the dominator uh, culture. It's just the idea that we uh, have to have somebody rule all the time and everybody follows. And that's why we're getting all these problems. People are just helping themselves. The people with the power, um, whoever they are. <clears throat> Can you read that one? Uh, and then here's the solution. I know people think gross snakes. See? <laughs> but well, it's it the like idea of salad, a, a snake salad. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, hey, well, that's not so. Anyway, the idea is just balance to me to get our to keep our planet to be alive yes. for more, to maintain and all, right? So, so the snakes really are nice. Let's see. I want you. I hope you guys. I like the bird on the spike up there. Yeah, see that cable <laughs> yeah. people. I know. I don't know. That's just more of the. I mean, I just I just trying to make little mm -hmm. jokes. Yeah, I, I'm into that. But, uh, you gotta laugh. Yeah, you gotta yeah. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that little birdie's pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a funny. <laughs> and this too, I don't know what's wrong. It's just the snake it shouldn't maybe be hanging out like that. I mean, snake on a it's just our whole world is kind of upset. I yeah. mean, everything's a little out of kilter. I mean, I really just like to draw snakes on cactus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. But I think Freud it, would have something to say about it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway. Like I say, you can look at this and then it'll help you uh, get focused better. You realize we all have to do something. It doesn't say that in the in the art, of course, but <laughs> in a way. Uh, so this is called the fold eight way. Eight. Well, what's the normal thing when you study Buddhism? The eight the fold path. The eight fold. fold path. I hope you wrote it right on the thing. It's the eight. Uh, yeah. pa the eight way fold. See, it Ooh. folds. Uh -huh. And there's really eight pictures. It really kind of worked out. Okay. So, so just... it's just a little foldy thing, okay? Because I'm really into hinges. It's just <laughs> a little foldy thing. And um, But is there's eight of them. And in a way, it uh -huh. to me is like a mandala. You do go to a solution, which you can argue about. That's <laughs> you not, you yeah, we'll have a lot of arguments. Yeah, let's argue. It sucks. And this brings us to the dirty oh, words sucks. that you're not allowed to say on the radio, but you can say on the internet radio stations. That's right. <laughs> is sucks one of these access. bad, is sucks isn't a bad word, right? Like you just said sucks, right? And well, I mean, no, because they say it all the time on broadcast TV. So all sucks the time. is fine. Yeah. Yeah. And you can say ass now. Yes. Letterman says it all the time. Does it matter it why else. you say it? I mean, can you say asshole? No, so you that's can't. different. You can say ass, but you can't say hole. Yeah, huh, interesting. So you can, so you can you say can a hole. The cheeks, but you can't reference oh. the bung hole. Can you say a hole, which is what I usually say if I really got to say it? Hmm, that may To just people I work with. <laughs> Not to <laughs> Because it's more polite. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't think they can fire line. me for saying a hole, but I no. thought maybe they could. Because, you know, people cuss all the time on the job site. Yeah, but, <laughs> but not teachers, uh, I don't know as much, yeah. Teachers, teams. that's a big deal. Yeah. Well, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, really? Whoa. Well, the, we all the, work at Santa Monica College. <laughs> yeah. No, I always say bite my tongue. Don't, Do you? Don't, don't talk, yeah, be, for a student, because students just yeah, some take people it and get run. really offended. Well, so it's just that, some so way to so dig so it. I you. always say that. Not to offend anyone, but the guy was a complete asshole. Oh, yeah, yeah, that and sounds then, all right. Know, yeah, some people laugh, right. and other people, you know, they were warned. Well, like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah, We're going to gonna read a book now that involves a lot of rape and, <laughs> and sex and violence and terrible things. Any whining out there? No? Okay. <laughs> Notes from your mother. <laughs> no, I know. But, actually, I've heard uh, the public school teachers of lower grades, they do have a lot of trouble dealing with yeah. all the different values that are coming into their class at one time. And it, 
the really make it work. It's it's really tricky mm -hmm. because like fuck, fuck really you could go either way with fuck, right? If you say what, F I don't know. Well, if it means fuck like the dick fuck, that's really bad. Can you guys see? No, no not quite. Candy. Anyway, and if you say yeah. fuck like fuck, meaning your world is coming to an end with the A-bombs right exploding there, then that's okay. You could say that, right? And damn, damn, you can always say. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I say it damn. in my class because I'm trying, when I have the word darn, I'm mm -hmm. trying to tell them Make damn and darn. Goddamn. Right. You can't say goddamn, but you can say damn. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm asking. Oh, 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 oh. I think goddamn is worse. Sounds worse mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> it is. Then you say, he good. Yes. And it's implied in that. Unless you really mean it. Yes. <laughs> if you are truly asking God to damn someone, like you ask God to bless someone, then, you know, it's kind of a literal use of the term. And that's like threatening them. Yeah. You could take them to court on that. Mm -hmm. He damned me. Right. You know, Damn me to hell! You know. and, and now I'm going to hell, and I, you know, he's got to pay. You know? right, that, how much does that work? Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot going to hell. I want a lot for that. If I'm going to go to hell, I better. Anyway, that is sort of damn. Damn is, hey, going to hell means you got the money. That's kind of the idea, damned, okay, mm -hmm. which most people don't even think about. But see, there's the mirror to remind you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. But see, I also stuck dollar bills in, partly because I'm cheap, partly though, then I thought, well, that's the other way of being damned. If that's all, all right. that's in your pocket is dollars, right. so you're, you're really damned. damned. On earth. Yeah. yeah, so you're damned, damn. And then, um, let's see, shit, shit, we say. Kind don't we say, say it a fine. lot now? Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Uh, shit, of course, food, crap food, of course, TV, crap TV. And then hell is Iraq. What else? Uh oh, what's happening here? What else? I'm, I'm getting tired of putting all these dead bodies, I'll tell you, but I don't know what. I can't think of a better way to um, talk about uh, Iraq because uh, I just think all of that devastation, I just I can't believe all the mutations. Mm -hmm. If you live, I can't believe people yeah. are still dealing, living there. Say again? That's, that's yeah, this is Iraq, Iraq right? See, this Iraq. Rivers and everything. Yeah. I try. Right. Yeah, there's the, what is that Radius river? And, uh, that's the big one. Euphrates, uh, Tigris. I forget now. It's, it's sad. That's the one everybody's, I mean, it's all getting, me everything's polluted and right. messed and up. Ready. So anyway, and then of course, I just spin this. This is like, uh, what was I saying? This is like, um, fuck too, you know, it doesn't matter what you pick. Well, maybe it goes to different ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Whoa. Yeah, anyway, so... Uh, profanity. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. <laughs> well, I like it because especially fuck and shit are so versatile. Parts of speech, you know? They can be used as any part of speech. Oh, yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah, it you could, I love that when people... Uh, I've seen little comedy bits that way where they use that word like 20 different ways. It's a versatile word, that's why... Sometimes it is the best word. You know, there's those jerks out there that say, "Oh, if you if you swear, you have a bad vocabulary. You're not an articulate person." No. Sometimes there's no word that grabs it like fuck or shit. Anyone know the etymology of fuck? Uh, there was that like old wives' tale that it was an acronym for yeah. fornication under the command of the king. Right. Cool. But, that, but I hear that's not no, true. No, that's not true, though. Weird. I, th I think it's some Germanic thing, probably, huh? Yeah. Huh. I think it's some oh, Germanic yeah, sound thing. Fuck. Anglo. Just like fuck. shit. You know, Germanic thing. Oh, this is too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Germanic. Well, you know, anything Anglo. Sh oh, shish, 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 shish. That's German. Uh, yeah, it's German. English teachers talking about <laughs> profanity. That's what you get. Profanity is cool. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, profanity is cool. This is just to get everybody thinking about transformation. I mean, here we are on the eve of Halloween. Um, more for you. This is really a, a, a flower blooming, you could say. And, Hold whoops. on, wait till, uh, Whoopsie. Oh, wait till yeah, wait a minute. All right, I won't say, uh, but anyway, <laughs> the thing is, why, why, um, um, why not think outside the pumpkin, okay? It's not just transform with your little costume and your new do, Ooh. your new do. But, it's really trying to like evolve fast, like uh, even evolve means uh, some mutation. I think we don't have time for the mutations right now. We really have to just evolve in our thinking. I mean, all of us, 
everybody, but the whole world otherwise, go in a pot. So can I do this? Can I show it now? Are we ready? Woohoo, Dr. Director. Yes. All right, so anyway, blooming is the main idea of transformation, right? Blooming. And uh, we're all kind of knowing it turns into something else. And then I was thinking of the other ones, like the one that's got a really bad name is, is Mutate. So Mutate, and of course, uh, I, actually I was thinking of it for uh, Happy Hiroshima Day, which we kind of missed. But Mutate nowadays is really bad. It does mean radiation. It does mean goodbye five fingers. So we want good mutation? Yes, yes, Alicia. <laughs> it, it can work for you. Okay, but anyway, then... Uh, Let's see, the next one is Evolve, which really is from mutation. We really wouldn't be here without having mutated. So Evolve here is sort of scary. I don't know if you, if you can see. I'm wondering see. where my Frisbees are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See the, the, the monkey and what's behind the monkey happy face? Like, I think that's where we're headed. Not so sure. But, but here's a brain because it's just our thinking that can really evolve. And that can really be quick, really. It can be zip, you know? Mm -hmm. You know how people... Anyway. Change your mind. Maybe not. I know, I know. I, 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 I go up and down. But anyway, in the next one's hatch, which is kind of a, a mysterious one. Kind of means reproduce, but maybe something more exciting than that, because it's like you don't know what you're going to get. And that's hatch. And here, what do you get? I don't know what to say it is. It's, uh, it's uh, a phoenix, and it's snakes coming out of a, um, a, a volcano. <laughs> and then uh, the last one, double is uh, not really so good because when you double the double in the end you're getting a lot so double see uh, you got a bad idea to start with and then what do you get lots of bad so in a way double is really kind of the worst of all these but hey it's all part of life and woo, spinning spinning uh and just want you guys to keep in mind for halloween these times that you can do a real transformation make a kickoff on halloween get it together so be somebody all, else. We should all evolve for Halloween. Yes, evolve. Mm. <laughs> More for you. Woo! Mm. More. There you go. For you. It looks and, very Van Goghish. Uh, well, it's a flower. He painted flowers. <laughs> what can I say, right? I don't know if he was into uh, lid tops. Right. I'm really was. I'm into I them. Totally into lid tops. Huh? He was totally into lid tops. But it was easy to spinners. <laughs> No. Anyway, well, I didn't mean to imply that Van Gogh was anywhere near the artist that you are. <laughs> <laughs> I still I see you have both your ears. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, yeah, well, I'm kind of shy on that. Uh, maybe I do, maybe I do. Maybe we'll go to your, yeah. your like, uh, product now. Bees in your bonnet. Mm. This is my new spring fashion statement. And uh, I was thinking a little bit about just for spring, new, new hats. And then, of course, the whole Easter thing with suffering. So really, they don't look like bees. They're just little pockets of suffering. Just things that you can make. I don't know. I don't even can't explain it, really. I don't know, the robot dog and the meat. But <laughs> it works for me, OK? I, it's not a word thing. And then the happy face guy. It, I kind of wanted it to be he's wearing the shark's head. Now it kind of mm. looks like he's being eaten, but mm. whatever. Oh, That's kinda, sad. Yeah, they're all That's like, grim. This is a rack still. I mean, every yeah. one, it's a rack, a rack, a rack. They're still getting killed. This is, see, it's sort of like money greed and if you look inside it's a guy with a gun because really that's definitely the that's connection. That's all we have now. <laughs> yeah, really. now that the jobs are gone. Yeah, really. We all got to get our gun trip. <laughs> and our religion. Mm. And yeah, well, it's the same, isn't it? And then uh, this is um, just corn. Corn's getting scarier mm. by the minute. And and all the food are going to be made out of corn and it's full of pesticides and it's full of things, genetic Sugar. things. Sugar. So anyway, Sugar. I also thought, though, hey, next week's Passover, what's the connection there? And of course, <laughs> it's the snakes because I'm in the story of Exodus. There's a few snake stories, but here's one I really like. It's uh, Moses' brother, Aaron, and he turns his staff into a snake to show Jewish magic. Yeah, look what we can do. And then the Egyptian magicians say, well, ha, 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 and they turn their staff into a snake. And then guess what? Aaron's snake eats their snake. Yes. I just think that's a pretty funny story. <laughs> I don't know. That's adorable. That is funny. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it is. So anyway, uh, just to remind you, happy Passover, too. Happy Easter. And may your snake eat the other guy's snake. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy your spring hunting. Oh.
Uh, that is such an in-your-face. <laughs> your snake, you know, my snake is going to eat your snake. <laughs> yeah. that is like, I always liked that story, yeah, that's too. A thread. That's a real thread. <laughs> it is. It's like, oh, I, c I can do that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I got one better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. But wear your suffering proudly, right? Yes. Just wear it on your hat, your little pieces yes. of it. Okay, there, well, that, speaking of Iranians invading through Mexico, I think you, uh, mm -hmm. you, got, you got a new deal with the, the what is it, the Homeland Security. Ooh. Yeah, this is a whole new way to put all those, so, those prisoners we can't really mm -hmm. afford to, to hold, keep where to put them. Mm -hmm. The million On prisoners. the border, huh? The million prisoners in American prisons. Um, yeah, and uh, put them to work. And, and I just wanted you to know, first of all, I'm very qualified to um, make maps of Mexico, Ooh. which you'll see in a minute, because here it says, when I was six years old, that I like to draw maps of Mexico. I don't know, you probably can't see that, right? Mm -hmm. But okay. anyway, it just says it's a hottie and Ooh. keeps and me a busy. drawing next to it. I've heard yeah. you actually drawing the maps. Yep, there she there is. Yep. Wrong Perspective map. on part of the drawing. <laughs> Perspective nice. on the table. Yep. I learned that from my big brother. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, I don't know. Here's another map of Mexico. But really what gave me the idea to uh, this week was I just happened to have some little toy soldiers lying Ooh. around. And uh, I thought, oh, yeah, let's put them all in a fence. Okay, so community service guys, you can just strap them right in. Uh, right there, do a little uh, day or so right on the border. And then here you can see they're going to all be really well equipped, but they'll just be strapped right on, and uh, you might sort of kill a lot of stones with one fell swoop. What do you call that? Kill a lot of birds. Mm -hmm. So oh, let's, uh, see, let's see that again on the front side. See, these are Here's the, the back of their bodies. Is our, and this then, is our border. Right. The new border fence. New border. This is the new right. border. And then you can see over here on the other side, they're actually on guard. They're armed. Wow. To the Waiting to protect America from people trying to sneak across. Okay. And, and then if you look further over, here's my map of Mexico. And what's the problem here? Well, once we start snatching everybody in, we've been even having ice raids in LA mm -hmm. uh, yep. this last just month. Very recently. Uh, just snatching people. Who's going to cut your chicken, really? Think about mm -hmm. it. Who's going to make the clothes? There's some mm -hmm. material. And hey, who's going to take care of your baby? Oh, okay? no. Okay? Who's going to take care of your baby? <laughs> I know, uh, I was just told that's Dora. Yes. That little brown haired uh, image is um, Japanese little girl in cartoons. Actually, but, she's uh, Mexican. Oh, oh, she is Mexican. Well, well she, can be, she can be a maid. Well, yeah, that's just it. She's already taken care of her children. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by, by being in the cartoon. That's right, exactly. oh, oh, yes. She's already watching your kids. We already that's have right. a, a little TV maid. But uh, we gonna send everybody back instead of having some reasonable amnesty program? I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the punchline. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, hey, it's a new policy. It's a thought. Mm -hmm. So and, that's uh, get them out of the prison. They're costing too much there anyway. And embed them in the border fence. And they're only there in prison because of drug True drug enough. offenses and point toward Mexico. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Get high. Yeah. yeah. Well, breathe. Right. Yeah. Did anyone follow those like in insane drug wars in Mexico, where like yeah. they like they have like all this heavy weaponry they bought from United S United States mm -hmm. arms dealers, and then like they just <laughs> <laughs> they have these running wars and on the border streets towns. of Tijuana. Yeah, I know that's big time. Tijuana's tourism is down, and that's their business. I mean, my gosh, what's going to happen to Tijuana yeah. without tourists? What's going to happen to the donkey bars? I, oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? I Those went to Tijuana to make a for, living. My, yes. for my honeymoon. There you go. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Tijuana's a great town. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, that's did you? Special. Now that we could just lead right into, I thought we just a bunch of dirty words. You've got something a, a little homage to. Well, I thought porn, but kind of light. And I started off making uh, my my son helped me, who's an origami expert. Uh, started making a little few of these origami origami penises, just to light, big and like light. Uh -huh. And then uh, they actually turned out to be too light. You know, when I tried to work them into my mm -hmm. picture, up oh, camera, can you get on my picture? Look where you are, and can you get closer too? Probably no. not, right? <laughs> Maybe you can run out and and run and get in close with another camera? No. no, you won't do that today? <laughs> oh, nuts. Anyway, these, these things really didn't show up very well, and so um, I just kind of moved on to other things like toys. I made a few couples. Porn light. Okay, this is porn the idea. Light. See, it's sort of porny, but 
does not quite. It's I'm not trying to. Harsh. It's not. Yeah, you're too right. harsh, Alicia. Right. Everything exactly. you say is harsh. It's not it's like just DP harsh. or anything like that. What's that mean? Double penetration. Oh, oh Nothing my God! Like no, I didn't even think of that one. Oh, well, that's not porn that light, though. You're going porn light. Well, but there's a goat. Oh. So true. that's pretty heavy, I think. Fairly heavy. <laughs> yeah. And but I'm, it's cute and it's painted. It is, I know. I know. I did it on purpose. Like, well, let's make them all green. They won't look so bad. Everything's green. <laughs> sort of like just not quite uh -huh. real. See, light porn. Environmental light. porn. Uh -huh. So here's your basic alphabet: tits, yeah. ass, mm -hmm. cock, pussy, and uh, and then here's just a few couples like the Pinocchios with the goat. I know you mm -hmm. can't tell audience over there. But Putting that nose. Oh, uh, but trust me, it's Pinocchio with the goat. And here's a '69er, and here's a Tommy. Tommy toy and a mermaid. I just thought oh. interspecies, Probably even though I was, I didn't know about DP, but I, I do think <laughs> I do think beyond those species here a yes. little bit. So anyway, that's that's really porn light. And then really, see, talk about George Carlin and depleted uranium. This you're supposed to open and blah. Oh, what do you yeah. see really? And I know that you can't oh, see anyway, wow. audience, but see that's see all the green okay. paint in the corner. That's the depleted uranium raining down on all the Iraqis and all the children right. and everybody. And that's really dirty. I mean, talk about porn. Yeah. We're bringing them freedom and they're all getting mutations and they're all getting cancer mm -hmm. and nothing spins. But anyway, that's the right. real porn. That's mm -hmm. why I kind of covered it up and I put it in the box. Mm -hmm. See, so you can't, you don't have to like kind of look at it all the time. Porn. That's the really dirty stuff, right? Even though it's still light. In my, it's still, it's still uh, kind of light. So, okay, porn light. I'm sorry, your audience, you can't see this up close because I work so damn hard. I know, because getting out all the is little that like dots and Skeletor getting it on with Barbie. Well, it might be very well be I Skeletor. So. I don't, I didn't know he was unknown um, to me. Yeah. But he had a blue suit on. That's Skeletor. Oh yeah. yeah he's so, getting it on with Barbie. Yeah, except they didn't quite match. They both. That's couldn't. okay. Yeah, I was worried. I had like to work on fit, that. Actually. Well, she's she's has to. She doesn't can't reach <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, in the end I thought look I don't know who's this guy in blue that's partly why I thought oh, they should all be green <laughs> I think green works maybe not yeah. anyway mm -hmm. but but anyway so you just don't like porn too much just a little bit little this porn is lights. kind of yeah. just a little don't look bit at that evil stuff in here right. yeah that's like what <laughs> like what we're doing to all the people out mm -hmm. in uh, the other side of the world Are we on the air? Is this the show? Yeah, we're the show. The show. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I looking all right? I don't know. Is the hair? Or... Well, well, I, could I could talk about my museum. I brought in a museum. Okay, yeah, you Lovely. go to do your thing. Should I do it? Yeah, okay. Well, this is Janice's piece for the day. While I try to find this thing, which you probably won't be able to hear. Okay, this is the museum of not for long, folks. You might say the museum of today, but it's today for not so long. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's going out. So anyway, here's the sun, here's global warming, and uh, ooh, it kind of just oh. keeps it rolling. Sunspot. Yeah, sunspot. Where's the sunspot? That giant thing oh, yeah, yeah, exploding. Yeah, that, whatever. It's, um, <laughs> it's just bad, bad for the planet. And then uh, this is just the museum. I don't know if you can see it, but um, these are just some artifacts I thought would go in a museum for now. And this is, uh, this is to glorify our, our uh, defense and our weaponry. This is to glorify our cuisine. <laughs> this is to glorify our um, cars. <laughs> we have a great car industry, as you know. And then this alien, we gotta always put the alien in. Don't forget the aliens, right? Okay, here's the rest of my museum, if you can see it. Whoa, what's in it? Just stuff that's dead already. I'm sorry, I said not so long, and it's true. It's kind of like already. <laughs> Barbie doll. She, 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 she's plastic. That's the problem, okay? And uh, corn, corn's gonna really uh, just turn into fuel. I don't know, we're not gonna eat corn anymore. Uh, so what else? The truck, the truck is really here today, and that's kind of it, the truck. Because of the fuel and the distance, and the pollution, boom! And what salmon else? And salmon in handcuffs, is that like uh, farmed fish yes, now? Yes, it is, thank you, well perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. And then see, I put, there's Virgin Mary in the corner, 
She's got a big brain because she's really got to do some heavy thinking. And then I saw the tree, you know, the tree, the truck is carrying the tree and the tree's dead. So she's got the water to turn it on, except unfortunately, we're not going to have it in the future, a whole lot of water. But there, there's some water happening. That's like for today. Who's okay, that? Okay. That started out oh. as Wolverine, and then <laughs> I, I had a trading this. card of Wolverine, and I lost it Maybe after I hadn't fight, painted him, so I thought, oh, what the heck, I can paint him any way I want. And then no, I, I saw, I oh, put some wormies coming out of him. Okay, yeah, the and then this is the Jaws, and, and the Jaws is um, exploding more, more weapons. So anyway, uh, what else to say? This is just a museum for, uh, it's going out. Well, how about in 20 years, what will the world look like? I don't That's know. Right. But... I, I know you're very distracted, Alicia, but I have a gift pack oh, good. to give to all of the oh. people here today oh. to help you walk into the future. Now, this gift pack, everyone, is um, <laughs> got a little killer whale on the cover because that's the only way you're going to probably see the killer whale in the future because he's not ne it's not necessarily going to extinct except there's like small little pods and if they get some big fungus, well, like, poop, that's it. Okay, so... And then you will see inside your gift pack a little rat, which is a mammal to keep you company. They will be in the future with us. Ooh, and there's also that. some fake frogs yeah. because <laughs> the frogs you. really are, uh, are going with the global warming because they get a yeah. fungus from the heat. And then that's poop that for them. Helps. Okay, and then, and then a little candy for casino luck. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> okay, oh, so... Wow. Um, Let's wish us all luck in the Thank future, you. and I, I don't mean just the four of us here. What's but, this? Um, oh, eyeball yeah. candy. Eyeball candy. Here We're the only four here, that we care about. Eyeball candy, because I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs>
It's pretty scary. You know I've been eating that day, right? But then here's what you guys have. All you have this little machine, this little invention. But then this image has burned in my brain for 50 years. Humans using their weapons and not even for a good meal. You're not eating there. You're just killing. So just remember this, folks. And Amphioxus means gill slits. It's a long way from Amphioxus. It's a long way to us. It's a long way from Amphioxus to the meanest human cause. So goodbye to fish's gill slits. Welcome lungs and air. It's a long, long way from Amphioxus, but you all came from there. Just remember, there's seven billion of you, and there's only 500 million of us. 130 million of you are born every year, and only 56 million die. And then you kill 100 million. This is you. You know, I don't mind the floods like you. After all, I can live with it. But in the end, it's not the water. It's the drought that's going to kill all of us. And then we're going to have a water war. We're in the oil war now. And well, folks, water war is next. This human heart is an incredible, magnificent thing. Four chambers. This one pumps here, this one pumps there. Now here's my heart. It's only two chambers. But it came first. And really, you couldn't have had the four-chambered heart until you had the two-chambered one. More incredible than the human heart is your brain. Boy, it's amazing how complex and dense it is, but it's almost too much for you, how you squander it. You just got to find things to do. You can't keep yourself busy enough. You end up hacking all these poor little innocent animals just for sport. Hacking up all the other animals besides hacking up yourself, chopping off your own head, chopping off this little cobra's head. So here's your beautiful brain. Boy, I wish I had one of these. I wish I had one of these. I'd learn to read. You know, we can't compete with you guys, but we're a pretty interesting species. Some sharks take two years to have a baby. So here's what I leave you with. This little baby shark. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's so cute, those little, little baby sharks. Don't forget the babies. It's so cute.
the axis. It's a long way to us. It's a long way from Amphioxus to the meanest human cross. So goodbye to fishes, gill slits. Welcome, long and hair. It's a long way from Amphioxus. But we all came from there.